Hey everybody, welcome back to the podcast we do regularly. And uh, today oh, yes. we're going to be... A, never missed a week. <laughs> today we're going to get back to uh, you know the topic we were talking about yesterday. We're going to... This is episode... What? Eight? Episode eight in our... Uh, our probably uh, nine. Yeah. I think it's... Yeah, you're probably right. It's probably nine. In our... Uh, we do it so regularly that the weeks just blend together. <laughs> We're going to be talking about AI art again. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, go ahead and uh, go watch those before you watch this one. All right, gay fave aside, the obviously there's been a big gap in our upload schedule, but I had to, we just had to jump back into it because I saw a, a fat sword idiot discuss uh, AI art recently. Some of you may know who this gentleman is, and I just really wanted to get into it. So a little background, ooh, there it is, some foreshadowing. But uh, just a little background here. This gentleman here is Shadiversity, a uh, Australian bloke who makes sword and armor-based content that I used to watch pretty regularly, but fell off and became, uh, but became very glad. I fell off recently because of his really, really terrible AI art takes. And, see, some extra background on this guy is that he has a younger brother who is a little bit bigger than him, who is a successful artist. That is his career. He just makes various art content on YouTube. And I'm beginning to think... This guy might be a bit, uh... Jealous. Jealous? Yes. <laughs> jealous. He's very much jealous. Very much so. So, he's an AI art idiot, uh, who has a very much inflated ego of himself. Uh, and as you can see here, his skills are increasing. Yes, can't you see his skills? He did all of this, guys. He punched words into an AI generator, and it generated these images. How difficult. Making a video as we speak, showing my process. I am reading that. <laughs> Read it less. Making a video as we speak, showing my process and how I get these results. The level of artistry needed. The technical knowledge required. An amount of work involved I think is going to shock people. I, I want to do a quick stop right here. Does anybody know why he chose the name Shadiversary? Like, is it is that... Shadiversity. Versity, whoops. I think Shad is literally his name. Cause see, oh, is Shad it? Shad M. Brooks. Okay, never mind then. I was thinking... You were going to make a Shadman joke. Well, I thought it might have something to do with Shadman. No, he's not going to name it. This dude's like a fucking, like, mo like a full-blown Mormon. I don't think he even knows... <laughs> He definitely knows. He's just not going to tell us. <laughs> uh, if you look at his art, it hints that he probably knows a boy. Of course he does. Look at this. But no, I just want to say my skill. It's not his skills are increasing. These fucking image generators are what are getting better. Making a video as we speak, showing my process. Ah, uh, yes, we're about to watch that video. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, the level of artistry needed. Level of artistry needed to click a button that says generate on it. Yeah, and it, all right. So like, even if he's like photoshopping these after the fa after the fact, like after it's generated to make sure that it looks good, let's let's pan down here and and take a look at all the things upon first glance that are all like visibly fucked up. First I'm off, this closer. I'd say that the picture on the left is probably the one with the most errors. If you look well, at that's our... the newer. That's like the older picture. It says before and after. He's saying. Oh, okay. Like, well, this is six months apart, is what he's saying, and it's fair like, enough, I suppose. Then. On first glance, like neither of these are very much better than the other. Like, obviously, the, he's not making these pictures himself. Obviously, like we all know that, so he's not going to catch these details. But, like, why does she have like a ham hock leg right here? Why does her kneecap? like look like a separate entity that latched onto her and why does this one look also fucked up but in a somehow grosser way it looks like she got stabbed in that one like you can see like a big dent mark underneath her <laughs> knees and then on the on the left if you zoom in on her hand real quick 
it looks like she was doing like the the okay sign and then they he had to photoshop a bunch of her fingers back into place i think that's like all the uh all the backup knowledge that we need on this though i mean he, he's just uh he's gotten into ai art recently and it's made him very ins- he's probably always been this insufferable but now it's like outward for the entire world to gawk at and it's very embarrassing just uh I just want to point out real quick, though, he says he uh, that the reason his AI art looks so much better than everyone else, even though these all look the same, is because he has such a high eye for detail. That high eye for detail somehow missing that he spelled the word assisted wrong here, you fucking moron. But well, before you leave that page, I want to, I want to take a look back at the uh, the newest one that he made. Uh, you pointed out earlier that the lighting is crazy wrong. Like, you can see the sun on her gauntlet, uh, but also the sun in the background. He's shining a flashlight at her in this one. Oh, okay. All Makes right, sense. All right, super girl, I'm just gonna fucking shine this light at you, <laughs> you uh, Okay, you can stop calling me a cunt, dad. Also, her, her bracers and her boots, I think, are Wonder Woman's? I'm not positive on that, but, like, that's a W shape on her boots. <laughs> I didn't even realize. I probably did... The AI program probably did literally just take, uh, like, Wonder Woman assets when he typed gauntlets in. Probably. But I think there's enough, uh, like, background info there. Yeah, I just it's wanted to look at that. Sword idiot. He has a younger, more successful brother who's actually an artist. And I think he's got a bit of a inferiority complex to that because... He refuses to do any of the work that requ- that it's required to become an actual artist, but he still really wants to be one, to the point that he's willing to settle for the fucking, like, AI art swill and calling it his own. But I think we've given enough background info. He posted this, and the entire internet clowned on him. <laughs> to a much greater success than he got bragging about this garbage. So he got all butthurt and made this video, which we're just going to watch and comment on. Holy fucking 37 minutes of this crap. I cannot believe this. Hold on. Before we do this, can we, can we take a look at his uh, like channel with all of his, all of his videos? Because when you were scrolling through this, it's all sword stuff and tell his ai art video like is there any art related shit no anywhere th- so yeah, he's made like art shit before but it's literally just been him bragging about being an artist and then showing off his like deviant art tier nightmare pictures that he'll he's gonna show them off But this is pretty much the level that you're going to expect, and this dude swears up and down that he's a professional level artist. I don't... And nothing in any of his pictures, like, will, like, exemplifies that at all. He's just got a massive fucking ego and cannot accept the fact that he's not as talented as he thinks he is. Before we get into, like, uh, like, the, the, the video itself i don't understand because I, I don't know anything about this guy this today is pretty much the first time i've heard of this guy but uh like before we even cut into any of this i don't understand why he would go from the thing he's used to and the thing he's been good at so far which is weapons and try to venture into uh art like even if he's done art in the past it's clearly his brother's thing and it's clear he's more focused and more uh, well, good with... Driven and talented. With weapons. I don't understand why he would even try venturing into art, especially with this, like, just terrible take, dude. Just well, he's... Horrible. He's a, uh... The thing is, like, he's... Tr- he tries to be a creative. Like, he writes, like, books and stuff that he also talks up a lot. I wish I could find the videos of him talking about his art and uh and his book writing but he yeah he's like a total fantasy nerd to the point that he writes books and he like drew the covers for the books but he i think he wants to be viewed as like some kind of renaissance man with a bunch of different talents 
and all he's been able to do so far is write some subpar fantasy books with, with like, glass swords or something. I don't know. It's... Okay. Uh, I've never bothered reading any of it, but... Uh, I mean, I, I listened to... I'm not sure how his writing is, but if his... But he talks it up to the same degree that he talks up his drawings, and if his drawings are any indication, the books are probably not as good as he hypes them up to be. I feel like this is probably just, like, jealous older brother syndrome. Like, he has a more successful younger brother, and he's like, I'm older, I'm supposed to be uh, further along by now. I don't think it's really even the older brother thing. I think he just wants people to view him as, like... Wow, you're such a creative, talented person. Look at that face. You're such a creative, talented person. Wow! But he also doesn't want to put any of the work in towards it. But we'll get more into that once we actually start the video. Uh, the, the head on this dude looks like a fan art of Vegeta. Uh, yes, it's very, like... It's very, like, deviant arts tier, like, middle schooler on deviant art. Uh... <laughs> sort of shit, which I'm pretty sure he was like in his late teens when he drew this which would which would excuse the way they look. I'm not gonna dogpile this art as much as I dogpile the fucking uh, like AI slop he pedals later but it's pretty clear he would be a lot better than this if he actually put in the work to become an artist, which he's not willing to do but again, we'll get into that once. I love the title of this. You don't need to be afraid. Why do you care what other people think that much, dude? Just make your AI slop and just ignore the people who don't fucking like it. It's not that big a deal. Yeah, I feel like this guy needs more self confidence. Self confidence. Not he's got a... plenty of self confidence. He's got too much. Is the issue? I think he's faking. <laughs> Honestly, I feel. I feel like he's looking for this attention because he's not self confident. Also, this character has a one head. <laughs> his fucking his fucking eyebrows just meet into his hairline. I used to do that on yeah. some of my drawings. I'm not going to show any of them off because I'm not dignifying this <laughs> fucktard by being like, Oh, look how, look how talented an artist I am. That validates what I'm saying. No, like, you don't need to be an artist to be able to point out, like, the fucking problems with what this guy says and like the crap he makes but i think enough uh stalling are you ready to start this yeah i'm ready all right art is very important to me Ever hold on i <laughs> i'm sorry ready. i have to i have <laughs> to pause on each of these jesus christ art is very <laughs> i what's with the fucking bubble shoulders also isn't this just the girl from invincible it very much looks like her yes uh I, he's probably not as good at does. What's up with his proportions in these early ones? Like, yeah, you like... have to keep in mind one of the main things he brags about in his AI art is that he's got a very good eye for proportions and anatomy that is required to generate the best possible images. But like, why is everybody nothing like about? Gumby? Why would he show off this art as an example of that? When nothing in this art indicates that he understands anatomy or proportions. Shut up, man. He gives everyone, like, such long, disgusting limbs. And this, the detail on this gun isn't bad, but... Yeah, his weapons aren't bad. I was looking at that sword, too. The sword didn't Yeah, his too bad. weapons are all actually pretty good. I think it's... Dry. Like, this hand is also pretty good. It's almost okay. like his focus should be weapons. It's almost like he should focus on actually improving his skills, and these would be way better. Wow! Also... Again, this is not a bad weapon, and the perspective on this is actually pretty good. Every one of these characters so far looks like fan art, but I have no idea what they'd be fan art from. I think they're just like original characters. They're prob like, they're almost definitely original characters, but they but look again, like fan art. Their proportions are completely fucked. Yeah, this guy. Uh, this guy is them. also weirdly like, thin and lanky. I guess lanky would include. That's thin. pretty much all the characters that he draws. It seems like. Uh, actually, this is pretty good too. Yeah. I, I, his weapons are good. I wish he would stick with the weapons. Uh, why would he stick with them? He's got AI to do the weapons for him now. This is also a good weapon, I must admit. Although, he has a weird habit of... 
Like, he's a big swords and, like, armor guy, but his armor and all these makes it look like they have literal fucking bones, like, underneath them. Like, armor should be very bulky, and these aren't. Oh, yeah, that's pretty thin. This actually isn't bad, although yeah. he gives everyone, like, weird basketball shoulders. I mean, with this, her, like, her arms are really skinny in the middle, and then also, uh... Her torso is, like, weirdly long, on, specifically on the left side. Yeah, the torsos are always very long, like, especially on that invincible rip-off drawing. Mm, I don't know why he drew it all the way on this side, but regardless. Uh, man, fucking... You know what? Oh, I just remembered what it was. What was, what was that old, uh, like, arcade machine that, like, uh, revolutionized arcade? Because it was, it, it was, like, one of the first uh, half-story... Or, like, half-movie, half-arcade games. Do you know what I'm talking about? Battletoads. No, not Battletoads. <laughs> uh, God. If, While you're thinking If you know that. what I'm talking about, uh, shout it out in the comments. <laughs> oh, yeah. All the people are going to yeah, do Yeah, you specifically. The one <laughs> guy watching. You, our roommate, watching uh, this. More ar more weapons and armor. All right. What I is with these feet, man? The feet bother me. They're like that's huge, the, that's man. That's the funny thing is that he elaborates like later how he need. Why is the fucking wrist like on this side of the hand here? His arms, torsos, and feet are fucking crazy. <laughs> He's got like fucking Ninja Turtle feet. <laughs> All right, now this is be very... nice. <laughs> be nice. This one's guys. This, this one's is my rough. OC Ragnar. His best friend's a dog. What do you think? <laughs> this one's rough. Honestly, I don't uh, even feel like we need to tear into this, this is one. This is very. This looks very much like one of the first things he ever drew. It probably the is the fact that he clear he has to go this far back into his artistic journey shows that he just never got further in this. Because I remember him showing these pictures off fucking years ago in that art drawing I was telling you about. We're going to have what? to come back through this and just play uh, play all this at regular speed. He, no, there's nothing worth hearing here. Uh, don't know fucking Pikachu ass. Uh, she's standing like she's a dementia patient. Like, this is how Joe Biden and Donald Trump stand. Oh, uh, he is very bad at shading. Wow. This this, this art is style god awful. This art style is almost exactly the same as uh, that old Ch Jackie Chan cartoon. You remember? Oh that? yeah, Adventures of Jackie Chan. Yeah, like this looks like his niece grown up with blue hair, and with boobs. Uh, uh, yeah, we probably should flat out Vegeta. Oh motherfucker, you're right. We probably should let him just say all this normally. Damn it. <laughs> And there's not much else to say. This guy's art is not on a professional level for him to be claiming as such. It's ridiculous that he thinks that. We can pause it if we see something particularly egregious. My imagination run wild, creating characters, stories, and worlds. And art has always been a profoundly important part of me bringing those worlds into greater reality. It started off with drawing, and that's a passion I still have to this day. Creating new characters and depicting the worlds and stories I love to immerse myself in. Wait a minute. The part part of drawing, though, is like nutting up and accepting the boring parts of it, which this guy doesn't like doing. So he's so drawing's not still a passion for him. Yeah, he literally has the AI draw for him now. Also, I think the game I was thinking of was Galaxy Quest. Not positive, though. He never learned to draw faces, did he? This Dude. knight looks pretty cool, though. Look at this fucking goober in front. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Oh, man. He looks I like, want to know that dude's story. He looks like an Easter Island head that they didn't have enough stone for. This guy looks like he's... Looks like someone stepped on his toe. <laughs> oh! Ah! <laughs> satisfaction was in what I was creating. Otherwise... Alright, so that's kind of the gist of what he says. Like, I don't like the act of drawing. I like the creation I get out of it. Why not With 
come up with characters and ask somebody who actually enjoys drawing, like your brother, to, like, why not commission him to draw these for you, and you can just come up with the characters and write them into your stories. Grug like jumping through air. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, the chin on this one is weird. I don't know if that's intentional or not. I don't think it's not. supposed to be, like, a human, to be fair. I know it's not a human, but, like, I don't know if that's supposed to be... Or, I don't know if her chin's supposed to be broken right there. But, uh... Also, this one has the opposite problem as that first guy with the one head. This is like a double wide surprise. <laughs> Why wasn't I just drawing straight lines on a single piece of paper forever? But I do understand that there are some people that fall in love with certain mediums. But I still feel. Okay, that is so fucking stupid. This guy just said, you know, if you enjoy drawing, then you would also enjoy just drawing neat, orderly lines on a piece of paper until it fills up. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Some people do enjoy the process of putting lines on paper, dude. It's not that. It's not fucking rocket science, but this dude is so detested by the idea of sitting down and drawing that he views. It's so odd. He claims he likes these creations, but is so afraid of putting any effort into making them that he just refuses to make them. So it doesn't sound like you enjoy these creations that much, dude. Also, like, he, he he's, like, really having to, like, backpedal to say, like, no, 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 I'm a really good artist. I, I really just don't. It's, like, a really tedious pro process, and you're weird for enjoying it. <laughs> it's like, no, dude. You j this just isn't your, like, method of expression. You don't have to say, you don't have to shit on the whole art form as an as an art form, you can just say it's not your cup of tea. Hmm, you enjoy carpentry, so why don't you just sand this block of wood down until it's nothing but sawdust on the floor, and then use wood glue to put the sawdust back into the shape of a block of wood and keep sanding that down in perpetuity forever, hmm? Mm -hmm. Would that be good for you? It's probably because people might enjoy the process of making something, but like having something to show off at the end, dude. Yeah. The mechanical movements of doing that thing are just a byproduct of it. And there's, there's you pride just don't in your enjoy work. that either. Yeah, and th there's pride in your work afterwards. After you, you, once you've created that thing in the in the end, you have the pride of knowing that it's your talent and and your your skill that you practiced that made that thing that what? made that piece of art. If that's not something you enjoy then maybe you should find something you do instead of shitting on the people who actually like it. Why don't you just put methodically lay down lines on a piece of paper? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe it's because anybody could lay down lines on a piece of paper and I won't have something that uniquely looks like I did it to show off in the end. What? You like playing video games? Why don't you just scroll through an, a blank uh, set of Word documents on your computer for 30 minutes? Why don't you just press the A button with your index finger for 30 minutes, you fucking idiot? Great comes from this process of creation. And then I nice nips. Where I could depict these worlds and characters to even greater reality. Writing. And since then, I've become a published author, and writing is one of the great passions of my life, as still is drawing. Can I just say, being a published author is not that big of a flex. Like, you literally just have to go to someone willing to print whatever schlock you've written. Yeah, sales like, are the real uh, real show there. I listen to a lot of audiobooks, and I've never heard of this dude. Uh, specifically High Fantasy, which is what I assume he's making. To be fair, there are plenty of skilled authors that probably just haven't been discovered yet. But Very this true. dude has million has like over a million and a half uh, subscribers on his YouTube channel, and he hawks those books all the time. And I'm not sure how well they've sold from that. I think I've even like read reviews of it on like fantasy forums saying that it's kind of a subpar fantasy story. But again, I'm not gonna claim I know one way or the other, though, because I haven't done that much research into his books. I'm not rating although, him. Although, again, if the art's any indication, he probably talks up how good they are. And art. My artistic pursuits have just broadened. I love to explore different mediums and tools that help bring my artistic visions into greater reality in different ways. Different mediums and tools? Like, you're just showing pencil and paper. There's not other mediums being displayed here. He's... 
He's just claiming that fucking AI are is a type of medium of creation. Like, I mean, it's it's not an art form. Does that exist for someone who sculpts? Is there a way of just like, I guess, three D printers actually? But yeah, then you was... still have to like, you still have to uh, like put in a three D model or make one yourself. Yeah, I would so say that's not even the... comparable to this still. Because making three D models is an art form versus. Uh, typing, uh, Supergirl, Big Boobies, Sunset gotten, City. We haven't gotten to that yet. Oh, okay. Damn, why is it a flip? There we go. That me achieve certain things that I wouldn't be able to do otherwise. I love the look of inked art on top of my pencil drawings, making the lines more bold and to stand out and pop from the page. It I don't know why he showed an example of a... Hold on, go back, go back. I love to put lines on paper and then show immediately shows a, p a picture without lines. Hold on, let me... Let me... There was one of these that had... Why do they all have such weird stances? You're going way too far back, dude. Or far forward. Which is ruined when small bits of water... Ah, this is... This is also too far forward. Yes. I love the look of inked art on top of my pencil drawer. Wait, no. Making the lines more bold. <laughs> <laughs> look at that fucking eye, dude. This looks like he drew it when he was like 12. It looks like he glued the eye on and it just drifted out of place. Why do they all stand leaning forward like that? Better to stand out and pop from the page. Yet it was also a very stressful experience because there was also a greater chance of smudges and I even had other images ruined when small bits of water, just droplets, fell on the page making the ink bleed. So, when having access to a scanner and being able to scan my hand-drawn images onto a computer where I could digitally ink my images solved all the issues and problems I was having with hand inking. It enabled me to do it more precisely, faster, with the ability to erase mistakes and also make later edits. He's using that as an example of like, wow, advancements in technology allowed me to eradicate some of the more annoying, tedious, and dangerous parts of drawing. That's just like AI art, except you still drew this yourself, dummy. That's the fucking point. <laughs> also, his accent is really tripping me up. When you said he's Australian, I expected an Australian accent, and it's not. That is very much an Australian accent. He's just an Australian nerd. <laughs> a tool that helped bring my art to the next level, and I never had considered it cheating, or that I was losing some type of artistic pursuit in not wanting to pursue physical hand-inked art. This is the exact same experience I had with coloring. I never particularly enjoyed working with physical mediums, painting, pencils, pastels. The same stresses existed for mistakes, but that wasn't to say I never did it or that I couldn't find great satisfaction in making a hand-colored piece of art. But discovering digital coloring fixed all the problems that I was finding with hand coloring myself and enabled me to produce much, much higher quality art than I was able to do without it. Technology enabled me to produce much higher quality artworks, cutting out much of the tedious processes, and enabled me to express my art. I feel like wow. we're kind of treading water here with, with him just saying, you see, you see, a new advancement, wow. a new advancement that I used to cut out the tedium. Wow, uh, guys, I cut out the tedium. Yeah, you still drew it though. This is an example that a lot of them go to is, well, you guys are so against AI art, but you're okay with people do drawing digitally. It's like, what? Yes, dumbass, they're still drawing the fucking picture. Your style is still coming out at the end of this. A drawing that uniquely looks like you did it came out of this. Yeah. Faster. It I don't know how many times he's going to rephrase the same thing, though. He does that a lot. That's kind of why this video is 37 fucking minutes. Oh, 38 fucking minutes. We're we'll probably just going to have to start talking over it. Yeah, or else we're never getting through this thing. Dude, you straight up. That's, you didn't make that. <laughs> Alright, this guy is going to brag a lot about his artistic eye, 
does your artistic eye, Shad, not find it weird to see a hyper-realistic face on this fucking One Piece character body? <laughs> like, you don't think that looks weird? You don't see how that, like, robs whatever style you put into this drawing out of it? Yeah, it's completely different. Like, it, it, it hits all the beats of what you made. However, it's, it's just it's precisely not yours anymore. It's filling in, like, the silhouette that he put in with a bunch of AI, like, texture diarrhea. It's not the same drawing anymore. It just follows the same lines. And then copy-paste this horrifying, like, <laughs> war crime image onto it. With intent, having a specific vision in your mind that you want to achieve, it can enable Hold on. you to Wow, he's he must be a very good writer because he knows how to blabber about the same fucking point over and over again. Another thing I, I, I'd like to point out here is in this case, he actually drew the like, picture beforehand. And I like then how it's clearly armor here and then it turns it to skin inexplicably here. <laughs> Sorry, go on. In, in this case, uh, so like the argument he's making is like oh look how ai fixed this picture for me this is why ai is useful but that's not what he's doing in the future in this particular case he drew the original picture and then uh, turned it into a real girl using ai but that's not what he does now like this you could make the argument that at this stage it's a tool you could make that argument it's a not a great tool because you can see her hair is all fucked up you can see a bunch of problems with it and the face is completely different but you could still make the argument that this is a tool but like as you like he he's he gradually phases out the parts that are art like his own art which which makes his argument weaker and weaker yes now this is just a normal person with a weird body nothing about it is recognizable as this himself his drawing anymore yeah, it, it, it continuously... Except for the weird body, but the face is nothing like he put down here. Yeah, he kind of stomped on his own style here by, you know, like, the the grips he did, like, the material on the grip that he did, that he put presumably a lot of work into, is now uh, warped abyss material. <laughs> uh, the... That looks like it's just, a, like, a texture from a digital brush, to be fair. I mean, sure, but it... But he still worked on this. It looks... Like, he's showing off all those things, like, look at all these drawings that I drew. It's like, all right, why should we be impressed if you don't even care about the process that led to those? Yeah, it's... It, 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 it loses something uh, as it goes. The further you stray from actually doing the art yourself, the more it's... The more it's losing... Come on, play, you bastard. ...level of reality, detail, and beauty than you might ever have been able to do without it. But when you combine other artistic talents... You could also just learn how to apply that, those details and that beauty. Yeah. It's not rocket science. Another issue with this is, like, the reason why it looks better is because AI harnesses the art of other people to make your art look better. So it's basically a collaborative effort at that point. So it's not your art there's not really any way of knowing who like whose fucking metal texture it stole whose hair uh it took to like achieve these results that's true but, but like it's flat out a different face it's, again. again yeah again it's a different face it's a different hair it fills in this hair right here even though this is just a little strand of hair yeah. Which it has no way of knowing because it's a stupid fucking robot. Also, the also helmet's this, different. Yeah, the helmet's completely different. Why does she have a cod piece? Hmm. She, uh, okay, man. Is she free later? ...abilities that you cultivate in other mediums that enables you to make the very best art with this technology. And I'm not kidding in this. I am an artist. I mm -hmm. developed a very keen eye for proportion and detail. And I that, am... Dude, you can't show off these pictures while, per, while like, bragging about your attention to proportions. 
Yeah, These the, proportions are bad. Also, the arms aren't even the same shape. Like the one on the <laughs> the one on the right here is way bigger than, or like way more muscular than the one on the left. And the one on the left looks fucking crazy. It looks like a smoke trail. This muscular anatomy is actually accurate, to be fair to him. But then it looks like they stripped all the fat and and skin off of it. So now it's just blobs of muscle hooked onto like bone joints. Yeah, it looks pretty grody. Why that in every artistic pursuit in whatever medium I'm using, there are many people who use AI. That's supposed to be him, by the way. My images that I've made with this technology and That's supposed to be his wife. How on earth do I produce these results? Interesting. In the How on earth do you produce these results? Well, I click the generate button. That's all. That's all. That's it. Versus the quality that they have been able to achieve, and the answer is I'm applying. Every single talent I have developed in multiple mediums in my pursuit and love. You, sh you, if should you not haven't been that. drawing, then you didn't develop any of these. Also, you should know you shouldn't have he shouldn't admit that. To say I'm applying every uh talent that I've learned throughout my experience. Don't admit that, man. This is you, it takes all of your talent to make AI art. You, come on, No, man. dude, he's gonna show us the process that requires all of his talent. You'll see. Alright. Right. Damn, my back is starting to hurt. Well. I'm an old man. <laughs> Doesn't look like you. In fact, it, it can be one look at that hammer. It looks so out of place in this. <laughs> yeah, the, the lighting looks like it's coming from a different direction on the hammer. That's his eye for detail, man. Hell yeah, man. Very best AI art. But when that is done, it's actually not AI art. The AI art generator is not doing all the work. Far, far from it. When I make uh -huh. my AI art, I am in full control with a specific vision in my mind that I'm working towards. You're kind of not, result, though. Shad, okay, AI I'm about to spoil... God damn this stupid thing. <laughs> I'm about to spoil... Stop clicking it, man. Chill I'm the just, fuck I, out. I clicked it twice, and it... Keep, and it kept fucking up. All right, I have to remember what he said. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Like, Shad, he's... I'm gonna spoil it a bit here, but what he's saying he does is that the AI will shit out an image for him, and then he has to, like, go through and, like, Photoshop it, or, like, highlight specific parts that he wants and run that same image through the AI again. But... Then you're just working, you're just like transmogrifying an image that the AI already gave you, so it's still not your vision. Also, he was saying he has a very specific vision in mind. What, your wife in a medieval setting wearing a blue dress? You, that, I guarantee. Hot lady with his wife's face on it. Hot lady with his wife's face on it, so it's not cheating when he jerks off to it. Hot lady with his wife's face on it. I, I guarantee result, that's that's the extent of what he's doing. It's completely different. It's completely dude. different. This looks nothing like what you drew. Yeah, the hair is completely different. Face is completely different. Their the head is, is in a completely different position. The face and hands are completely different. Looks like the middle finger and the ring finger are fused together. Hold on. I, God, I wish I could zoom in on a YouTube video. <laughs> but let's look at this. Yeah, it looks like she... that That pinky is fucked up. That hand is broken and backwards. It's also somebody else's art style. Like, the, I have seen this art style in, in like, comics. I, I, yes, that's probably just straight up stealing a face from a comic book panel. I almost guarantee it, it there. Because the hair is, it, like, I, I would not be surprised if, if you were to look this, like, if you were to look through a bunch of comics, I'm almost positive you could find that exact head. And also, fuck, he actually drew the feet fine here, and then it fucked them up completely. Yeah, they, they look like toes. <laughs> they look like just big toenails sticking out of her feet. Oh, like a horse. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna keep harping on this, but this is, again, nothing like what you drew. The armor's completely different. It has a cape. It's literally a reskin of Batman. <laughs> The armor on both, actually, the armor on both these guys is kind of similar, so that's pretty good. Uh, uh, it's not. It's still. It's really not that similar, though, because on, on this side, it 
He's no, I'm talking like, about both of these guys. Like Oh, between each other? From sketch to AI-generated diarrhea, it looks nothing alike. Can I just ask, what was he going for in this original one? Why is there just like this L.A. noir-ass dude next to these fucking super soldiers? Also, the, the like, I don't know what those things are on their forearms, but I'm 99% sure they're meant to be some kind of weapon. They're flat out not there in the second, in, in the AI-generated ones. <laughs> they were kind of like the entire, like, reason, like the whole focal piece of this one. This looks like he, this guy's, like, pinching his butt. He's like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> but, like, the way they're, like, flexing and sh showing off their forearms makes it look like those things on their forearms are supposed to be important. Yes. And they're just not present in the AI-generated one. Also, the AI, the AI-generated ones, uh, the guy on the right looks like the Mark II of the guy on the left. Like, the, the armor's <laughs> more detailed. The armor, yeah, his, like, bracers are more detailed. It, it, like, even in his legs, his, it, the cloth is more detailed, uh, the chest piece has more segments. These this capes is, look is, like something a wizard would wear, and there's just, like, a thunderstorm JPEG happening on them at all times. The, like, the, he's talking about an eye for detail, but, like, I'm looking at this now, and I can see, like, a dozen mistakes. Yeah, Levi's not an artist, and his eye for detail tells him that this AI-generated conversion sucks shit. Yeah, also, you can see on the guy on the right, his uh, hip armor somehow overlaps with his cod piece. So, like, how is that possible? Because that armor plate on the other dude is, like, on the outside of his thigh. And this guy's feet are spread apart. There, there should be no overlap. That's that's not good. I'm more concerned about the fact that we are almost five minutes into this fucking video, and he hasn't made any points so far. But He's just been blabbering this whole time. <laughs> I'm an artist. Call me an artist or I'll kill myself. the <laughs> specific Okay. Dude, again. Christian I, man! I have seen this guy's face somewhere else. I know for a fact I have seen this Dude exact like, art style somewhere else. Again, this, change the face completely. The fucking cross is just a flat JPEG that doesn't follow the geometry of his armor. His hands are horrible. The anatomy on his torso is a fucking mess. What is happening right there? Yeah, his abs are like morphing over his belly button. <laughs> His hands look ridiculous. Uh, the cuffs look like they were painted on. Uh, his legs look like they're fusing together. He's wearing a dress, gay wad. <laughs> he also looks like... I, I feel like his face is Eddie Brock from, <laughs> from Spider-Man. Pro there's probably a million dudes like this. He looks like he goes, Dad, it's the bat! <laughs> <laughs> Again, it's just, it's just okay. He's just going through the same Dude, crap that's all. That's a completely different yeah, art style. People were really like dogging on him for this one. Dude, it's, this looks nothing like what you drew, Shad. Dude, your original con, like the original art you made. This is funny looking, but it's at least clearly something you drew. Yeah, it looks like fan art of the AI generated one. This AI, this AI face is on every single. AI drawing because AI art has no style to it. That's another issue is that these fucking drawings are all going to look like the exact same person did them. And it's like that's part of the point of becoming an artist is that you develop your own style that's instantly recognizable upon seeing it. I've also seen like a billion uh, like mobile game ads that have. Like, that face. They're probably using AI art programs. They definitely are. You can <laughs> see in some of them that their pupils, like, extend out into their foreheads and crazy shit. It's, what else is he saying? Did art. Just like Photoshop is digitally assisted art. Oh my oh, god, he's still saying that. Oh my that. god, get to the fucking point, dude. Quarters, make sure cuts achieve goals much you don't understand. Digital art is the same as AI art because it's, it's advancement technology, bro. You don't get it, man. It's like Photoshop because you get to change original images except for the fact that you completely create a new one using other people's pictures and art. Like, when you're using Photoshop, you're doing all that yourself. Yeah. You're not doing anything yourself with AI. That's the fucking point of it. Fuck, 
fucking ridiculous. Play, you bastard. Hit the space bar, man. No. Don't want to acknowledge that they are using in their own digital art, but criticizing the exact same type of use and methodology that is actually present in AI art generation. Therefore, to prove that great amounts of artistry can absolutely be applied to AI art generation to achieve far greater results mm -hmm. than what people are able to achieve without artistic... Okay, no. Uh, the AI art is capable of achieving more than you're capable of doing. Like, your art is not doesn't compare to the AI art because... Your art didn't progress past the phase where you gave up and started doing AI <laughs> art. There are people that make way better art than the AI art yeah. you've been showing because they actually care. Uh, yeah, like a lot of these AI bros talk about how like, oh, this makes amazing draw. But I've seen like traditional art or digital art that is like leagues ahead of any AI art that I've ever seen. Like, even considering the fact that AI art always just looks like diarrhea. If you told me that a real person made, like, the best AI art image I've ever seen, I'd be like, huh, that's pretty neat. <laughs> it just uh, kind of just looks like Photoshop, if I'm being honest. Yeah, it definitely looks like Photoshop. Talent ...and technical knowledge in the program itself, I'm going to take you through step-by-step step showing the entire process of the creation... About of time, damn. ...assisted art pieces. Explaining every single step. Also, tell you also them said that. Prove their art and ability to work with this new technology. So to demonstrate, she was missing his finger. We are going to be making an image of one of my favorite fictional characters, Supergirl. I had a big crush on Supergirl. Growing Wrap it up, up man. And a nostalgia connection for this character. And what I love to do is to depict my wife as Supergirl because that's who she is. She's ah, like, yes, that is very romantic and not creepy at all. <laughs> Her irises are shaped wrong. Her head is the size of a fucking, like, beach ball. <laughs> she is my Supergirl. She's the most beautiful creature in the world to me. <sighs> and so I love making art of my wife. Then she why don't you... Is that your wife's body? Is <laughs> If she's the most beautiful creature in the world to you, then why don't you put your wife's body in these images? Damn. Because <laughs> I don't believe... If... If he tries to say that this is what his wife's body looks like, I'm literally going to, like, laugh to my death. I'm going to laugh until I cough up an organ and die. Because there's no fucking way he would show that. If Perfect. This dude would be showing his wife off if she looked like this. Also, the gauntlets don't match. Yes, one's all gold and the other's all red, you fucktard. It also looks like she's wearing a watch. <laughs> It would probably look like she was wearing a watch here if the fucking, like, if it wasn't going supernova right here. I doubt it. Play, you bastard. This is what I see when I look at my wife. Alright, show us what she actually looks like instead. You're comfortable putting her face on here, put her fucking body too. Come on, man. Fuck. Installation of stable diffusion in the automatic 1111 interface. The reason why stable diffusion is the best is that it enables you to use multiple extensions and add-ons. The reason stable diffusion is the best is because they don't come out looking like Cthulhu-esque nightmare monsters, like every other art program. Because the very nature of AI art generators are infinite, and you don't want infinite outputs. You want a specific result. Okay, Holy so, shit! Look at this stupid shit he's putting into. The, I think um, this is. Me an image. I think this is an example of like what not to type into. I it. know. I know that's what it is. It's just a huge straw man. Nobody. <laughs> um, imagine give me an typing, image of something cool, dude. Imagine, imagine going into your phone and trying to Google something and typing like this. <laughs> no one in the universe, like even your like great grandmother, wouldn't wouldn't type like this. Even if. If you're stupid, which is, I think, what he's going for here, this is too much effort to put in to being stupid. Um, make me an so, image of something really cool. So Yeah, I, that's what I want. I guess this is the part of the video where he talks about how, no, you don't understand, um, typing the proper prompt requires a lot of artistic ability. I'm an artist, you see. And as soon as you are working towards a specific result, it's oh, quite got impossible. It. That's what that a cool of image of a cool dude. Oh my god. More processes to achieve what you want he types like me, dude. Image. 
<laughs> He's probably using his index fingers to do this. <laughs> to a separate website it's literally running locally on your computer people assume that once you have stable diffusion installed all you need to do is copy someone else's prompt and start spitting out incredible results is that this what is people assume very far from the truth drag on comes with a base model which is a set of training parameters that kind of encompasses the brain of he the really generator. showed himself typing that out it, what, so hold on he's explaining why like how hard it is for him to make art. Meanwhile, he's just explaining how the program works. Literally the thing he doesn't do. No, you guys have to understand. You have to type in a specific prompt of what you want. We, we, we knew that, dude. He's talking about how the AI generator works. That's not the part you do. That's not your art, man. <laughs> it's still no, not No, no, dude. Yours. He's about to explain why it is. Don't worry. Okay. Different AI image Look at all this fucking puke diarrhea slop. <laughs> like, these all look the exact- These oh. all look the fucking same. Here, it's the me... same face on all- Look at this gay shit here's here. Here's this. Oh, hold on. Here's this. Here's this. Same. It's, it's the same it's face. basically the same. Like, this- This one's hybridized with Barbie dolls, but You're... like, this, <laughs> it's the same thing. What would it- Same thing, same thing. Same thing, same thing. It's- It's- they're all the same. Look, Gay shit. Even, even, look. Same, same. They're, it's, it's the same, same thing. They're using, like, it's, it's not art. Look it's at this. the same thing. Same thing, same thing. <laughs> it's crazy. No. You ever wonder what a Chinese girl would look like if she was black for some reason? <laughs> now you can with AI. <laughs> Dear God, look at that abomination dead center. That thing, yes. yes. <laughs> that one's very funny. Look at how this one's hair just becomes a different color on the way down. It's called it's a hair dye, team. man. I remember one of these had fat tits and looked really funny <laughs> when I watched it, but I don't see it right here. Finding the best models to You're really hounding for that, huh? Yes, I need- I fucking need it! Dude, you get the barista girl. Why are there so many, like, babies? Yeah, that's a little concerning. Why is, <laughs> why, why is AI making so much of this stuff? A very important part of this process. I've worked with the prompt is very important to an AI draw. We know that, dude. This video didn't need to be 38 minutes long. Isn't this Scarlett Johansson? I think it's Scarlett Johansson as Pennywise. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. The limits are endless with AI art. It's almost like you can get... It's almost like a machine is photoshopping things together. Wow. And weaknesses, and as a result, I know which model will best A lot of children. <laughs> That's cool. And to reach the quality that I'm able to achieve, I actually do something that not everyone does with these AI. Wow! Models. Let's hear it! Multiple models for the same image, which I will demonstrate a little later. And so to achieve this end result. Hold on. Pretty much all of them do that. Like, all the people who, like, type, who, like, post AI slop talk all the time about how, like, I had to run this image multiple times. Like, that's not something he thought of. He probably read that from someone else who does it. Yeah, that does, that's not your, the, this was my idea, dude, you guys. Having an art form is having your own, like, you put some of yourself into it, some of your own originality. You can be inspired by other people. You can base your work off of someone else's work but like it's still your own like people have made remakes of things and still had it be like definitively their own you can you can tell easily uh just by experiencing the art form whatever it is using somebody else's ai method using there's no way to do that with ai you cannot use somebody else there's no art to it you're not inputting any of your own. It's literally just generating what you think would be cool. Levi, I think we said that already. I know, but he, he's... I know he's stupid, he's but you don't have to reiterate the same point over and over and over again like he does. Fine, be that way. <laughs> <laughs> I mainly wanted to make fun of him, but continue. Uh, I was just... I, it was just that. It was just that. he's He's claiming that, like... Wow, bro, he runs the same image multiple times? 
That's he, fucking crazy. He's talking about like the method by which he gets the the AI to generate the image a particular way. He's talking about that like it's an art form, and it's just not that's what the, an art that's form where is. That's where the art form is, man. It's literally not what. Jack, what are you talking about? Space. <laughs> this has been a long and difficult process with many, many. Is that his wife? The final face. No, that is not. That is also AI. Of yeah. Of work. Obviously. Wow, hundreds of hours of work? Hours. Imagine if you had, like, the touched a piece of paper with a pencil during that time. Usable face marks based on my wife that can each achieve a different type of artistic output. And I often use... Wow, that is a hundred... She... Different First, body in all of them. The prompt. <laughs> Finding the prompt that works best is a process that can take thousands of different tries just copying a base prompt that you find online does not grant you the knowledge of what individual words are doing what to achieve the result so he's bragging about how much like hard work and practice it takes to get used to using an ai generator but then he like but then he like sings the praises of this thing as like anyone can just make art with ai now it takes no know-how or effort that's like, all. that's what these guys brag about this program. It's like, now anyone has the access to creation. You don't have to put in a lot of practice, except when you do for the sake of argument. Yay! Basically what he's doing by showing pictures that, like, AI-generated pictures of his wife on other people's bodies, he's basically saying, like, look, I, show, I photoshopped Mitt Romney's head onto a cat. You know, it's really hard, actually, when you think about it, because you have to find the exact right cat, because if it's not standing at the right position and you don't find the right picture of Mitt Romney, you can't get, you can't get the head on at the right angle and it just looks kind of look, weird. It won't look hot enough for me to, like, jerk it to. <laughs> tweaking the prompt is an important part in guiding the AI to get the results that you want. So, knowing how to weight certain prompts, the order of the prompt, the types of keywords are all very, very crucial. Experienced people with these programs know how to tweak the prompt as they generate images, guiding it by altering the prompts to get the results you want. But this is still only the first part of the process. There is still much, much more required as well as additional things that can drastically affect and change the results, which are called LORAs. LORAs are like additions to models that can be applied to... So, listen, he's... Grandma, whenever you want to ask Alexa to do something for you, you have to say, hey, Alexa, first. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what this is. It's, you need to tell, you need to make sure you speak to the computer in its weird eldritch fucking nightmare language, or it's going to shit out the wrong thing. All right, it doesn't sound like it's uh, immediately easy to use then. I, I mean, it, even if it, like, it's still usable, though. Like, even if you had no idea how this thing worked, you could just throw shit at it and learn how it works by the way it responds. Like, nobody has to learn how to Google things, but Google has its own way of talking. Like, if you were looking for a picture, you wouldn't be like... You wouldn't type into the search bar, hey, uh, could you find me, um, like, a picture of an owl that looks cool? You would have to, like... What? Uh, nothing. Keep going. You would, you, you would... Something I was just checking here. You would search, you would go into the search bar and look up owl. That's all you do. You just put in the word owl. And, like, that's, that's just how you interact with Google. That's... Of course, it's going to be different for a different computer you're talking to. You don't... Well, search results on Google tend to be the same. Yeah, you might have to but... rephrase a couple times to get the computer to understand what you're saying. Also... Of course it's going to be... Of course. Also, we were just playing around with an AI generator before this. You could type the same thing and press generate and get different things every single time. It's just like a luck of the draw crapshoot of oh that picture looks good I'll keep that one. Yeah, and if you're if you're gonna narrow it down every time, of course it's gonna get easier each time. It's it's not an art form, dude. Mm, nah, it is. He's about to explain. You're gonna feel real stupid in a couple minutes. In a certain direction, and most people who first try stable diffusion have no idea what they are or that there are even different models to use. Almost 10 minutes into this, actually over 10 minutes in, and he's made no real point so far. Even 
when the technology improves with updates, you need to learn how to use those updates. Nightmare shit. Oftentimes new extensions need to actually... Pretty sure the sword is crooked, too. Nah, I think it might be right. Getting better at using these tools and taking advantage of how this technology gets better is a crucial part in making the best holiday. No, bro, you see, whenever you go to, like, a Mexican restaurant, if you speak Mexican to them, they'll br make an even better order for you. You don't know what you're talking about, bro. Part of this technology. So the prompt that we're using here is raw photo, full body image of a beautiful... Look at this fucking, like, paragraph of shit that he has to type to get a Supergirl image. What was this? What was the censored thing right there? in the middle image of he probably put in his wife's uh like maybe put in his wife's name wearing a long red pleated skirt and red cape and red boots starting with a full descriptive line of the image gives far more weight and okay i'm going to keep it real i think that learning to type in this tech bro gobbledygook might be less fun than just doodling a bunch of like dick butts on a piece of paper until you get really good at drawing dick butt. Yeah, I mean... One even... seems more fun than the other in its process. Yeah, even, even even this doesn't really seem all that difficult. Like, once you figure out how it's supposed to work, it really doesn't seem like it no, would be all that hard. No, you see, the creativity is how I write it. I just have to write it in a very stringent, by-the-numbers way. That's where my creativity shines, bro. Yeah, if there's a part that you don't want or a part you do want, you just add that... Like you just add that like a tag. Anyone who's navigated a porn site knows how to do this. I like all the Jew echoes he has to put on everything. Supergirl, if you know what I mean. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Whatever like anti-Semites want to like imply when they're talking to one another that something is being run by Jews, they put this triple uh, parentheses <laughs> around things. Like you'll type like Jerry Seinfeld triple. Uh, triple fucking parentheses, and it's called Jew Echoes. I'm glad you explained that, because that was an emotional roller coaster for a second. Then I have the lying trigger word that generates my wife's face. This trigger word will literally achieve nothing in models that are not trained off of my wife's face. And so for the majority of these first generations, this is doing nothing. Then I start with guiding keywords. These are all very important guiding words of elements that I want in the prompt, and some... Girls you want, huh? Uh, mm, prompts you want. Mm, mm. What are you does really say, doing with these pictures? Does that say T-girl? T-girl? Where? Like trans girl? Where? Oh, one girl. <laughs> I need glasses. <laughs> you want to say, wow, these super girl images have gotten real spicy if he's putting his wife's face on them. <laughs> Uh, damn, dude, I feel like that says more about you than it says about him. <laughs> I, I was seeing what I wanted to see, I guess. Might confuse you a little. Like armor and sci-fi armor, metal top. The type of Supergirl image I want is one that has a more sci-fi looking Supergirl outfit with detailed gold accents on the top and belt and boots. And these keywords, the exact type of... I didn't get sci-fi at all. I just want to point that out. Yeah, that... I was looking at your... We were looking at your Supergirl image before this. It looks like just a generic Supergirl image. Yeah, it looks like the, it the, seems... the most recent thing DC cr crapped out. Like, it's... it's I don't get any sci-fi from that, man. Seems like you wasted a bunch of time typing these out then, huh, dipshit? Nothing that will heavily influence the output. And I've only figured out that they work this way through experimentation. My neck. What do you mean, red boots? Why Why did you even bother it's... red cape? <laughs> it's Supergirl. What the because fuck his, are you talking about? Because the AI program will do whatever the fuck it feels like if you don't, like, yell at it like this. Like an abused kid. Like, stop! Stop! Fucking being in your own mouth. Stop it. That's what you have to do with these fucking programs. I feel like if he did this first try, like if he just typed all this crap in first try, and then it popped up with that image, like, and he didn't need to do anything with it, then I might be like, all right, that was kind of impressive. I'm kind of but impressed how he did all this and got 223 out of 225 in the end. What is it? What like characters. That's how much he's allowed to type. character limitation? Yes. 
Damn, dude, that sucks. <laughs> he got pretty fucking... He shaved pretty close to the balls on that one. <laughs> also, your your art form has a character limitation. I'm just gonna let that sit in the air. I don't, I'm not even gonna comment. I'm hey, just dude, gonna say... A piece of paper is only as big as you allow it to be. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> just on the actual imagery, the artistic style. There are a couple of repeats there. Levi, like Someone this. else's artistic style. <laughs> Add additional weight, and some prompts I did learn just work well from other people who work with these programs, like DSLR. 4K eyes. I have two auras work. Perfect anatomy, detailed face, 4K hands. You have to specify not to fuck up the hands, clearly. 4K wallpaper, photorealistic model shoot style. Thigh detailed, oh, high detailed skin. Two di Read it before you say it, man. <laughs> no. <laughs> Detailed skin, ultra... God, it's just a bunch of fucking, like... It's just a bunch of, like, crap you have to type out so it knows what it's doing. What's Fujifilm XT3? I hope that's not an artist that he specifically ripped He's off. He's probably... It's probably not. This might be, like... I don't know what this means, actually. It probably has something to do with, like, the style of the art itself. Theme. Or, like, the lighting. Theme Mecha Musume? Musume, probably. Mechanical. I'm going to look that up because that sounds like a, an artist's name, and I'm going to be real peeved if he just ripped off an artist <laughs> intentionally. Because, like, AI does that. AI will just, like, suck up somebody else's art and shard out something else. But I'm going to look up. What is it? All right. Uh, look that up. Mecha. I'm going to pause the recording real quick. What? Well, hold on. Ah. Uh. I, I I didn't get the second half of that. Mecha Musume. Musume. All right, while you're looking that up. All right, we're back. I just had to break the Geneva Conventions on my toilet real quick. <laughs> I looked it up, and uh, the no, Musume. Said. Shut up, Shad. <laughs> yeah, the the Musume. It's basically basically it just means like female Gundam. So most of the prompts are AI generated, and they're just like either girls in Gundam themed armor, or they're just Gundams with tits. Yeah, that's pretty much all they are from what I've seen. Yeah, so I, I think he's in the clear for that at least. But like he's keep just an going eye for a style guy. for that. Yeah, keep an eye out on this guy. If he's swiping from real creators, well, he is. That's the inherent nature of AI slop. Yeah, well, AI... AI Mecha Musume. Wow. That's pretty... <laughs> I guess he knew we were going to do that. <laughs> I mean, like, if... Like, if the AI itself is doing that, uh, that's that's not good, but it's more on the AI's... That's that's more the AI's fault rather than Damn. his. But if he's specifically doing that, uh, like, targeting a specific artist, then... He's probably not, but I yeah. don't think he'd have the... At least not on this video. He didn't seem to have the balls to do that. I don't think he knows who any artists are besides his brother. <laughs> that adds mecha type technology details. Both these lores are available on Civitia, and the mecha one is particularly awesome when pushed to a further degree. Can get some really cool sci-fi results. That looks horrible. Okay. His that great artistic eye for proportions that keeps making his wife's head the size of a fucking beach ball. And have it's like a size. crazy shadow behind it. <laughs> <laughs> looks nothing like the rest of this. Looks awful, dude. Can get some really cool sci-fi results. Also, Tiny. I wasted my time and everyone else's time by looking up what <laughs> <the> <laughs> that, <laughs> that mecha thing is. Really tiny hand, tiny hand, tiny hand. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking seven fingers, apparently. But I'm using it here just yeah, to waste gross. the generation towards a more sci-fi looking outfit. Specifically in the metal accent details of the... So you have to download, like, a texture pack for this piece of shit software to understand what Musume means? <laughs> What's the point of, like, downloading these programs if you have to tack on... A, I guess you have to download, like, digital brushes and stuff. But, like, again... This stuff... The appeal of this stuff is supposed to be that anyone can just hop on and create something, but he's making he's made it abundantly clear for the first third of this piece of shit video that that's not the case. That not just anyone could hop on and create stuff with this. 
Yeah, and he's he's explaining exactly how anyone can do it. Like, like okay, that would be a benefit in its favor if this were still respectable, but it isn't. You're still not putting any real work into this aside from hunting down a couple of texture packs and learning how to speak to this fucking, like, computer monster that you've downloaded. And the only, like, personal yeah. element is his wife's face. Like, that's the only thing that's, like, specific to his It's not cheating AI if I jerk art. off to my wife's face on a different body. So I've made that, that joke works. already, but it's <laughs> repairs repeating. ...different categories of prompts affects the output, and it actually uh. results in an AI-generated artist. That's me. AI-generated images okay, man. have a particular look to them. No, yeah. they don't, dude. They don't have... They, okay, they have a particular look to them because you keep putting your wife's fucking face in them. The particular look is that they look fake. Like how the, like the how, wisps here are just, like, passing through her body. I would kill for this fucker. Like, I like how it looks like it's... Why does it just stop? It looks like it's erupting out from behind this amulet. That's what I'm saying. Like, one passes behind her body and then comes out underneath the amulet. It looks like it <laughs> impaled her. The, yeah, the, the AI's... My AI have a particular style. Like, I would fucking kill for this fucking guy to sit down and point out what is so different about his AI art compared to all other ones. Because these look the same as all other AI art that I've ever seen. Yeah. This... Same face, same style, same textures. AI does have a particular look to it. It looks AI. It looks fake. That's it, it. It looks the same kind of fake. You can put, you can pick out an AI image from a mile away. It looks like an a, it looks like a hallucination being sung by a banshee to lead you into steering your ship into a rock, dude. This pattern right here is on all all of his shit, dude. All of the AI art uses that pattern in the center of the dress. Hold on, I just saw something. Uh, the anatomy on here is actually pretty good. Style. It's probably just Arnold Schwarzenegger. They, like, they probably, the AI probably just photoshopped his face onto Arnold Schwarzenegger. I like how the shadow here implies that this logo is actually hanging off from between her tits. <laughs> My AI generated images have a particular look to them. No, they don't, you fucking deluded idiot. I didn't even catch that he said mine. My AI art. No, it doesn't. This is uh, not random. This has been achieved through trial and error. Experience. It's a random picture that you just re that you just like kept like redefining and like photoshopping and touching up a bit. Yeah, you it, didn't make the base for any of these. If your if your literal wife's face was not on each of these images, your face or her face weren't on every one of these images, I would not be able to tell it's yours. In fact, even with your faces, it's hard to tell because it looks AI. It looks like, like AI the crap. AI slightly changes their face every single time, regardless. Yeah. And yes, someone can just copy and paste this, but they're still not going to get the same results as me because next is because it's the... random. You said wow. it's not random, and it's random. I have to make this highly fucking specific, specialized prompt to get a different image every single time, you guys. Yeah, it's almost like the thing you said about it not being random is a lie. Process. And the next stage in that process is choosing the specific model to generate the first image that is going to be the foundation of the final image. But you might be shocked at how different this first image is compared to how it will look to the final result. I promise After you I won't be. With multiple different models, I do have to say, Rev Animated is one of the very... Yeah! That's clearly supposed to be like a space marine, but... Yeah, I saw one earlier that was just Hulk, but like AI'd. Sex t child with tits. Child. Realism. Pause. Child. This art style is, is from, like... That is from, like, Fist of the North Star. Yeah. I know what fucking face it... There's Hulk. There's Hulk if I wanted to have sex with him. <laughs> okay, man. <laughs> That's Child. Legend of Zelda over there. 
so we are going Did that skeleton have a man bun? Yes, that's a that's a Legend of Zelda thing. <laughs> that's a, that's one of the Stalthos from uh, from uh, I think Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask had Stalthos look look at, that looked like that. All, and it's just in a new art style. Let's go back a bit. All again, every female face is like damn near the same. Child, child. Gonna be limited by this model's Probably a child. Look how small they are. Child. <laughs> Again, just another texture pack. Her arm is broken. Applying artistic talent, bro. You can do that with li what's up with this 9/11 victim in the background by the way <laughs> you can he's talking about i see potential in this there's potential in literally any image generated by ai if the point is that you have to touch it up with photoshop you can do that with any image that it spits out this there's nothing special about this one yeah it's literally actually, nothing yeah. Wow, dude. You're so talented and skillful. That must have taken you a long time. Basically, I started with a completely finished picture and then changed it slightly. And they're just limited with the images that they're able to generate. And so with this image, I now have a vision of what I can achieve. You see, I took this coloring book page and I doodled around it. Hold on, I just realized. Dude, what is this back? Is this a window? How small is she? <laughs> Look at her cape just feeding into this. <laughs> I actually didn't notice this before. It thinks it's a curtain. What the? F that 9/11 victim is really distressing me. <laughs> that's a plane, man. It is not. <laughs> that's a that's, person falling. That's either a plane or Patrick Star. I don't know. What you... Also, what is that thing? This thing? I don't know. Is it? This looks like, like the wing of a ship? plane. Yeah. What? What is this background, dude? And then there's just an ocean behind her. Supergirl, stop posing for that fat Australian man's picture and save that 9-11 victim. He's still falling. He's really stuck on he's, that, huh? He's been falling for 22 years. Okay, man. First, we want a more detailed version of this same image. And so we're going to repeat the seed with the exact same prompt. Which means we're going to generate the exact same image, but we're going to do the high res fix, which is going to upscale it using the same seed input, which means the additional detail it's going to So add you're just re warp the image away from So the first step is so just like the regenerating the same exact image. Worry once again. This is what the high wow. Fix is How, uh, it looks like it fixed the cape curtain, just from what I can tell. Doesn't look like it to me. No, nope. it did not. You're right. <laughs> Jesus, it looks more like a fucking person falling. <laughs> it looks literally no different, man. <laughs> There's a huge lens flare now. Now I can really see the potential. So you have to click generate twice. Wow. Hold on. It's not going to have. He didn't copy it right. Is he not going to comment on her, like, broken mangled hand, hand <laughs> and, like, weirdly angled elbow? I was blending up my steak this morning, and I reached too far in to grab the pieces from between the blades. Blending up your steak? <laughs> Ew, dude. Into my steak shape. Oh, God. <laughs> The right hand has potential. And copy it over to the left one. This doesn't mean that I want the hands to look exactly the same. It just means that the AI is going to have a much stronger guide to make a far more realistic looking hand when we regenerate this image. Now we come to I know every technique he's using here. This is not like give a much stronger guide to what I want to achieve. <laughs> he got rid of your guy. <laughs> Damn man. I was really like falling for that dude. 
might not be able to see it, but you will see it. Everything, yes, it has great potential, it. Shad. Part of me You've said that already. Going to be changing Shrink that cape a little because I that's not right. You go flying through the air, and this actually has a brilliant beginning for a background sky, but the issue is there are buildings in the way, so we're going to edit out the buildings. This has also given the side cape of Supergirl here a much cooler kind of flaring out silhouette. But that silhouette can be improved once we finish off changing the background to a sky. And we're going to be taking out the flaring kind of side of this cape and copying it to the other side, which is going to give a much more striking silhouette to this Supergirl image. Then we're going to crop and center the image so that silhouette is even more Okay, so what he's bragging about doing here is just image. using Photoshop to fix the image, but then also being, like, even lazier than that. And not actually fixing it with the Photoshop. You're just, like, plopping down an unfinished block of clay and expecting this fucking, like, computer monster to finish sculpting it for you. Yeah, like, he's... He, he took the original image, didn't fix it, just chopped off the parts that were broken and replaced them with parts that were slightly better, and is just gonna have it redo it. That's... That's not art. It's literally the laziest form of producing an image you could possibly be doing. Like, like how is this no different from just, like, commissioning an artist and then, like, instructing them on how to fix the image as they show you the process pictures? Yeah, that would be... That would be infinitely better than this, because then at least you're you could at least say... You're supporting an artist at that point. Yeah, instead you're just making AI shit out subpar art. I I, I hesitate to say art, because honestly, <laughs> the It's an result, image. It's not art. Yeah, the end result still isn't very uh, incredible. So I'm going to paint over this with a basic... How are we only halfway through this I piece of shit? <laughs> Even this simple shading does require a knowledge of basic shading principles. Shading? So the previous experience I have in digital coloring is being used to a very significant degree. It requires very knowledge of shading. Much, much harder for the AI. Did you hear that? It requires a very significant degree. Shading is not fucking rocket science. Settle down a bit. You didn't even shade it that well. I've seen children shade in that. All these edits were done by hand. There has been shading is not complicated, dude. You're bragging about shading. Took th this whole process probably took like an hour, probably way less than that. Like he, it looked like he sped that footage up. That probably took about ten minutes for him to fix. <laughs> yeah, to this stage is probably ten minutes. So now he's just gonna run through this through the diarrhea machine a second time, and like pray to God that it fixes it properly. And to say the final image that we're going to get out of this foundation was just made by the AI is completely false and disingenuous. But this is only the beginning. I There's really a lot think more involved to get the final results. We have a great composition with dynamic lighting, a good pose, and it's been the combination of using the strengths of the Rev animated model and my own artistic eye and digital illustration ability to which It doesn't take an artistic eye to realize that her hand was fucked up earlier, that the buildings didn't make sense, and that there was a 9-11 victim falling <laughs> from the sky. You don't need to be an accomplished artist to understand those things. Yeah, a, a Or to use Photoshop. A rudimentary understanding of Photoshop is pretty much all you need. If you know how to use a computer... You can do this. Also, if you don't know how to use Photoshop, that again, like, removes a person's ability to create art with this. So, again, it still sounds like you need, like, the bare bones amount of, like, practice to use this. Which is still not an impressive enough amount of practice for these images to actually be worth looking at. Yeah, you could learn how to do this in, like, five minutes. And so now I want to make this image We're learning that right now, actually. That, yeah. But for some reason, it's taking like 30. God, he is so boring. He just fucking blabbers on and on, dude. 
put it into the image to image function of stable diffusion. Wow, image to image? Based off That's of crazy, image. man. Holy heck, dude, it's so crazy, man. And the result is actually pretty darn cool already. It fucked up the hand again. <laughs> it fucked them it both her, up. It gave her a fucking Sangheili hand from Halo. She has two <laughs> thumbs. Look at the other hand. It fucked up the other one now. Wow. This is not a good example, Shad. It, it's not the same bracer either. This is like... Jesus, look at those nips. <laughs> this thing is sharp. It fucked up this image so badly, and it kept the smear marks from when he erased the fucking building. Also, his Photoshop job is so sloppy that it made one of his smear marks into the sun. <laughs> this is a really shit example, Shad. Yes. Decline to see all the errors in it, or the ability to fix those errors. We're going to adjust some of the settings here. Knowing how the adjustment is going to affect the output is also very important. The denoising strength and the CFG scale. I want to give the AI a little more freedom in altering it, but not too much. And so I'm going to regenerate the image now. And what I've done right here, knowing how to work the settings to get the results you want, is something that only comes with experience and practice. It is literally a skill that you develop using this new tool. You sound and pretty defensive. <laughs> no, you guys, I took a lot of skill for me to do this. <laughs> Look at how her, like, like leg bracer is just melding into her foot now. Oh my god. <laughs> it makes it look like she has cotton hill feet. Where they're just <laughs> sticky out of her knees. <laughs> Only a guy with, exp with, like, expert experience with making proportions and anatomy would know how to make these foot legs. Only after the fourth generation of this Supergirl that was... <laughs> that I've been working on, can I make it look like her leg fucking melted? It finally fixed her fucking hand. Oh, look, lucky that. Wow. To push it, towards the it makes it look like she's missing half her hair on this side. <laughs> Results that I want. But it also changed the feet a little bit, and I like the feet of the original base Alright, I guess he's better. pointing so out. I'm going to generate a new image with less freedom to get the feet I want. And so what I'm doing here is... This I'm is no different from telling an artist what to do. You should just commission art if that's the part you like. Result, say, on the yeah. S, but lower settings will get a better result for the feet. And so then, what am I supposed to do if I like one thing from one image and elements of another one? Well, we're going to combine them. Oh we'll my god. In Photoshop. Should I skip forward? This is just him talking about using Photoshop to fix these pieces of shit. Uh, honestly, it just feels like him pointing out problems in... Like, the, pointing right. out the same problems we're laughing at. And being like, AI fixed that. AI fixed that. Fix AI this fix now. That. Fix this now. No, this takes a lot of input from me. AI fix that. It, the art doesn't just so show up on my computer, guys. I have to, like... Ask a machine to do it a couple times. All right. It's we're, hard. All right. We're going to just talk over this because he's just like saying the same shit over and over again. And I want to get through this fucker's video already because holy fuck. Oh my God. We still have more than 10 minutes. We still have like 16. Even. Yes. What I fucking said. <laughs> This is like saying that googling a particular image is art. And add it to the image. Again, the ability to do this requires knowledge of anatomy and proportion. Yes, you have said that already, and you have not demonstrated that you know that yet. Your anatomy and proportion is uh, not awesome. Why would you resize the foot if you copy pasted it from that foot? You want them to be the same size. No, one's further back. Also, this does not. This looks like it's broken. Like the. F okay, I really hope he zooms in on this. Jesus Christ, look at that shit. You fucking asshole. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try pointing it out. That skirt does not look good. He's at least pointing that out. Where's the bulge? There it is. So we're going to increase the length, and it doesn't need to be flawless in its quality. It's going to mess up the consistency. Hmm, Supergirl wore the short skirt. That actually doesn't matter because she always wears a short skirt, you fool. I can see her balls sticking out. 
That's what we're doing here. And what we want to fix is specifically like, the length of the skirt. This, would, yeah. this, this is all least. just my client if fucked something, or my artist fucked something up in the commission I asked for, so I have to fix it a bit. Yeah, this, this, like, all he's done so far is equivalent to, like, finding a very specific image on Google Images, having to, like, change your prompt a few times. It's, it's really not that impressive, man. It fixed the hand a bit. Yeah, but, like, aside from her fucking bodybuilder shoulders, adding in different prompts, like, over and over and over and over again... That's not art. Oh, uh, yes, that's the essence of being an artist, man, is telling someone else what to do the entire time, like a fucking construction foreman. <laughs> a little underneath the cape, so it looks more natural. The way the cape connects to the top is also a little inconsistent, and I would actually like kind of... A little? It's different fucking attachments. To the the outfit, so we're gonna add two gold lines, added by gold accents on... You haven't noticed that this is, like, crooked? Like, I know her shoulders are kind of askew, but, like, this part is way... This is the center of her neckline. Look where it meets. This thing is too far in, and this thing is too far away. And I Your artistic detailed. eye didn't catch that, did it? The outfit. This means removing certain lines that we don't... I like how they the lines converge lines right at the points of our areolas. That really gets me going. <laughs> We're also going to readjust the colors so the AI, again, has a stronger... Color Damn, he kind of zoomed into it there. I wish I'd caught that. Zoomed into what? The into nips. her... Like, look at how her leg starts going out in this direction, but then just <laughs> abruptly stops so that the broken foot can come out at this angle. Real eye for detail you got there, Shad. Keep in mind that this this is one of the end result images that we, we saw earlier, which we still pointed out a bunch of flaws in. He still hasn't pasted her his wife's face onto it. Yeah, lucky us, we're gonna... The bracers are still different. Yeah, there's a cut right there in the, in the forearm on one of them, but not the other. The key is using the in-pacing feature of stable diffusion. Wow, the is that the key the still using the AI generator? I wouldn't have expected that. Wow! I thought you were going to hand draw it at one point. The image is now 2,000 pixels, and we're going to bring that into stable diffusion. By using the in-painting feature, the image generator doesn't need to generate a 2,000 pixel high All the work he's bragging about doing is still just the AI generator doing all of the work. Look, I made it easier for the AI to do the thing that I don't want to do. I know exactly this tool that he's using right here. All this is, is like, no, you like highlight something and the AI will focus on that specifically. Wow, how is that? Wow, Shad, you learned to pick up something and fill it in almost like a coloring book. <laughs> Congrats, man. Wow, he is really bloviating on this, isn't he? Bloviating, huh? Nice. Yes. So your word of the day? I know what the word bloviating means. I bloviate. I don't know what bloviating means because I'm not It's what he's doing. Loser. This is bloviating. Talking a lot about the same thing? Uh, just like using a lot of words and like harping on the same point for... You're just talking without saying anything, basically. He smoothed out the nipple lines, unfortunately. <sighs> God damn, man. Those clasps look bad. They make no sense. They look like they'd stab into your collarbone. Yeah, you shrug too hard and you got an open jugular all of a sudden. But using as a guideline for the new image, we're going to generate different results. And it's already looking much better with high attention. It looks no different. Stop. Many additional things that we yeah, it's fix. still Next not good. Is fixing the skirt. And so we're going to bring that into in painting, select the skirt, and adjust the settings to generate a much better, more consistent result. But it's not perfect. There are still edits and fixes that How we need to make in Photoshop. This? So I bring it back into Photoshop. And 
and make those fixes. Some of the gold lines have become oh, washed my out. God, of man. Why don't you just tell the AI to do all that for you? The image, putting that on a new layer and adjusting the layer settings. Wad gold lines, did you? Yes. This is all just I, the AI fucked this up because it's not. What happens on the day when AI becomes so good that you don't have to do this shit anymore and it just shits out exactly something like what you wanted? Is he still going to be bragging about, like, how much work it takes for the AI? Yes. Or is he just gonna, like, calmly walk all this back and never acknowledge that he said it? <laughs> hey, Shad, this thing shat out 80 million different pictures of your wife's face onto Supergirl's body. And it all looks, like, completely perfect with no flaws. You can't change it whatsoever. Well, you see, I actually did it because, like, that's my wife's face, so, like, it's, it's actually, like... <laughs> and I own my wife because I'm Mormon, you see. <laughs> Photoshop. Back into in-painting, we select the top, and we have a better guide to generate the results that we want. For, like, top, fucking less ten less minutes less now, less it's all been... When I highlight I thing, it changed so thing. Wow. Wow. greater weight to what I want... And look at how the results already at least we've like are. bit off a significant Tell chunk of this video like just letting him fucking suck his own dick for the past five minutes here dude if this is an actual artist doing this stuff there'd be there'd be like sections of like definitively different parts of the art it'd be like all right i'm doing all the, the i'm doing the posing i'm doing the the like outlines I'm doing the black and white now i'm adding the shading now i'm adding the color the cool part about being an artist is that you can draw things exactly like how you want them to look and you don't have to go through this bullshit Dude, this is You not... didn't have this image in your mind. You, it shat it out and you, quote, saw the potential in it. Yes, and you've basically just... You've just been fixing the AI's failures this whole time. You, you had no image going into this other than Supergirl. If you were to, like, use AI to create as, like, an inspiration, like, if you were to, like generate this image and then draw over it and have something cooler going on like if you were to have if you were trying to come up with like a web comic or something like that and you wanted to have like a dramatic pose for a scene or something like that and you used ai to generate the outline and you traced it and then made it your character or whatever i could see that as like a tool and i see that as you using your own art oh no but this like... is flat out not this is not your own art. Yeah, this is something else that you're just touching up a bit. Plenty of artists do do that too. They just use AI for the sake of like references. They'll find a reference they like and they'll use that in their own drawing. But that's not what this is. This is just polishing a turd until it's shiny. Like, ooh, I'll highlight this uh, corn kernel here because I like the way that that corn kernel catches the light. Mm. That's actually perfectly what this is. That's, yes. Uh, I've been dancing around that, that point. But yeah, that's exactly what this is. It, 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 it literally was. We just saw you hit the generate button like 20 times. Perfect. We need to make some fixes in Photoshop. Removing lines, artifacts... Defining certain shapes, fixing up colors, and more. Back into Balancing certain out the hair because one side of her haircut is way heavier than the other. Defining certain shapes? Yeah, I wonder what he means by that. What we want is for the AI to blend all those edits together so they look... Very round shapes, I assume. the result here. This is so, so much better. In fact, the top is basically... It's, like, not noticeable at all, man. ...that many people would be happy with. I mean, she doesn't have, like, polygonal boobs. <laughs> She's still lit from the front, even though the sun's behind her. And I like a million different people have pointed out. I don't even think he's noticed that his smudges turned into the sun. I like the lack of uh, wrinkles on that thumb. Makes it look very human. Wow, he's changing the hue on it. That's crazy, man. I wonder if he is just going to take Wonder Woman's shoes. 
cuffs, but I want the prompt to guide it in the direction where I want, and there is a lot of elements in the prompt that are completely unnecessary for him. He has yet to add his wife's face to it. All the little, like, small additions he's been making make me think he might just ask it to give her Wonder Woman's gauntlets and boots. Because these are not what was on there originally. Oh, wait. Which one is this? This is, like, the latest iteration. Okay, so this is the one on the right from earlier? Uh, no, he hasn't added his wife's face to it yet. It, but it's going to be the one on the right from earlier. Yeah, at some point. Okay, I thought so. But of course we're going to be giving this image the face of my wife. And so I'm going to load it. Haha, that's so romantic, man. Look, it's you on another woman. It's you if I found you attractive, wife. to give her the expression that I want. I want her smiling. My wife has one of the most beautiful smiles in the world. And so we generate it several times with different settings. Which is why I have to completely fake it for this image. And the image could be Yeah, why not take a picture of her with that smile and not... Regenerate it two dozen times. I want this image to be as good as possible. This is the difference between someone with an artistic eye. I like how the hair is drawn on. Look at where the hairline goes. It's above her eye. This hair looks like it should be on a head that's like looking downward. Yeah. Like yeah, down to the good. side, not facing directly. Yeah, I it love looks like a wig. I love that I paused it as he's saying this shit. I want this image to be as good as possible. <laughs> the difference between someone with an artistic eye and eye from Oh my god, stop take saying that. Uh, an artistic eye? Why do you say that every time? This image and not be able to see any additional errors or flaws. And that can be well enough. I think I, I am going to... of them, dude. Broken foot, bad hairline... He actually did change. Actually, the bracers are not the same, so good luck on that. Good job on that one, fucktard. Also, this bracer looks chipped. I'm not sure if that's a shadow or what. That's what I'm saying. There's, like, this part missing, and that's not on this one. Uh, fucking nightmare hands still. Also, it looks like this one's bent. On on the, the curled leg, uh, there's, like, an, uh, a Photoshop line, like a cut that he made, that this jagged line right by the the like cuff of the boot i've been looking at it this whole time waiting for it to change and it hasn't it, it it's really bothering me the shading go on it's it's not like it's geometrically just bad it looks it looks shitty the it's bright <laughs> glaring irritating the shading is completely inconsistent like right it's like right here it shows the light coming from the sun but then her hand is shaded from the left here. Yeah. Same with her hair right here. Her hand is shaded properly there. Her shoulder is also shaded. This whole arm is not shaded right. Well, if the sun's back there, this the whole top of her hand should be shaded, shouldn't it? Uh, but instead it's bright. Yes. Which because, would imply that the sun is up and to the right. Well, that's the issue with this, is that there's two different light sources. Your untrained eye spotted that, Lee Marge. That's crazy. It's like you don't need an artist's eye to see obvious problems in this nightmare fuel. I want the top to look a bit more like armor. And so I'm going to start regenerating the top with a greater weight on armor. Why didn't you fix all that before? You put a lot of work into making it up to this point. I'm going to combine some of the best features yeah, also, why did you make her boobs more round if you were going to make them armored? Her torso is literally like the width of her head. Why are you making so many versions of the gold highlights? If, you, if you're going to redo the entire chest, why not wait until you're done to add in the gold highlights? I like how there's still folds in this as though it's made of latex. Yeah, even though it's supposed to be a gauntlet. Great artistic eye you have there, Shad. The Superman logo is wrong. <laughs> That's a Supergirl logo, you it's, misogynist. It's not, it's wrong. The line, the, the, hold on, I gotta go back. Uh, you can see... That's like a Homelander smile. <laughs> you can see here this line, uh, it, on, on the bottom here. Oh, fuck, I don't wanna... Like the concave, there it is. So this line... Go back a little bit more. 
Okay, perfect. So you see how this line sort of cuts around this bend here to like show to make the the S look like it's more rigid or like more more shaped, and then the line just juts off to the side this way. It's supposed to hook around to make this look more like crystalline almost, which is how like the regular Superman logo looks like. Levi, if there was a problem with it, his artistic eye would have caught it. Okay, <laughs> I suppose you're right. Yeah. It's caught everything else so far. Yeah, like all the boobs. Boobs, boobs. I wasn't. I, I, I don't think that was an earring. earring. I don't think that was an earring. I think it was just a hole in her head leading to the sky behind her. <laughs> no, that was a earring. I couldn't tell. Nightmare shit. She looks like still has a fucked up hairline. She looks like she's wearing your wife's face as a mask. It looks like Homelander Supergirl skinned his wife's face and is wearing it to mock him. <laughs> also, oh, maybe he is fixing the hair. Maybe his artistic eye is coming in. No, he didn't do shit. Okay. I like the hair is just flying off in random directions. It's called wind. Bust, and so we're gonna smooth those out. This is looking pretty darn good, but there is oh, yeah, man. I, I, I like couldn't fix anything in this looking at it. I feel like his wife's smile was different in the beginning, and he changed it. He was saying how much he loves his wife's smile. Yeah, he and added not a different. It. I think he, I think he like had the AI put a different smile on it. Okay, that's not your wife's smile then. That's the AI's smile. Nah, man. <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> what do you say? Shoulders are far too wide to the rest of her frame. Ah, yes, that's the only issue with this man. Not her fucking huge Hercules shoulder, unmatched with this one. This is still armor. You earlier you photoshopped this into being an armor, like this. This was an armor plate, and you took the other shoulder. Where the fuck is the cursor, man? So this shoulder, you just transplanted that side, but it's, it's askew. It's it's too big. It looks like a fucking football uh, shoulder plate. Use the ultimate SD upscaler, which is an extension that you can download in Stable Diffusion. Ah, cool! Another extension. Checkpoint. Another thing that you can download. We're going to increase the resolution by three times, which is going to add lots of finer details. And here we have the final image. Oh my god. Looks like shit. Looks like shit. Looks like shit. Uh, dude, alright, first off, you can see the uh, sclera of the eye carries on underneath here. Like, it's white over here, and then it's white along the eyelid. Her uh, which means eyelid that got her bitten off by a chihuahua, dude. So her, eye, so her iris is, like, compressed. Uh, and then the clasps here still look like shit. They look like lumps of uh, plastic <laughs> that they peeled up off the floor. Her shoulder is still huge. They never fixed that. Let's continue uh, Continue down. Still has the fabric metal fucking bucklers. Or not bucklers, bracers. That nice fingerless thumbnail. Nice, <laughs> nice artistic eye, you fucked hard. You mean nailless thumb? Shut up. <laughs> the line was never fixed. Broken foot, broken foot, broken Dude, foot. The fucking jagged Photoshop line on the boot is still there. <laughs> he didn't notice that. That's weird. The the knee here, despite being bent, has literally no detail. You can't see the cap at all. Uh, it's also like that looks a like a weird, Barbie leg. Yeah, it's like completely different color. This foot is like way bigger and like way more angular than the other one. I don't know. If I loved my wife, I wouldn't be making like abominations that look nothing like her personally. Yeah, you. Li that I honestly, that's so. That's, that's so really up. sticking with me. That and people haven't pointed that out yet either. How fucked up it is that he does this. 
this line is still fucked up but like look at this this is not the face this is not her face like you you started off with her face and her smile and then you you changed her smile you literally said that you love your wife's smile it's one of the the best thing it's like one of the most beautiful things in the world but you changed it not any it's other not, smile works man it's not her smile anymore it's literally a different smile she also Let's, has a giant nose <laughs> i don't mind big noses but i doubt that her nose actually looks like that i think the ai just fucked that up still let's see if we can scroll back and see when the when her face is added 34 10. okay with what's okay 34 10 so 32 10 we have the original face okay that yeah That's, look the nose is like it looks smaller to me here the smile's also just different is this i love my wife's smile that's why it, okay this any is fucking still... smiling face put onto it works just as well for me hold on i want to see when the face was first put on jesus i cannot tell if we're going anywhere with this because he okay here's here's the old face so let's scoot forward okay there's her face the expression that i want and i want her okay and did you see that that's that's so here's her face static if you ask me Here's her face. Here's her smile. Like very, very like not a lot of teeth showing, just the small smile. More, more like her eyes are sort of squinted a little bit. I wonder if that's his, if that's her actual face, or like he fed the AI pictures of her face, and that's just what the AI makes now. So I think this is an undoctored uh -huh, version Shad. of her face. Sure thing, Shad. I'll help you with your fucking like weird AI bullshit again. Just stop talking to me about it. <laughs> You said 3410? Yes. I want to get through this now. Okay, 3410 is where we're at now. Face is different. Not, her, just not your wife. This Looks like shit. Image generated from the first prompt. We were able to take that prompt, which already took human input to refine <laughs> okay. a generated image, and using all the artistic ability that I've developed through my life. This foot is better than the last. Actually, the fucking this, cut is the still there. The foot is like no better. I would argue it's worse. What do you say here? Image into this. Into this. Wow. Wow, it looks worse. Wow. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> this one actually looks better because, like, the cape and the hair balance out the picture a lot better. <laughs> like, Rather than her just floating in an abyssal void. <laughs> it, instead of her just floating in fucking purgatory now. Oh, my God. I don't want to... Highlight all the issues with this again. Knowledge in the program, working with multiple models, applying laws to get the effects that we want. Multiple different tools within the program. And what happens when you don't have to do any of that? What happens when it just shits out a perfectly fine image that you don't have to touch up at all? And a better extension for a much more. Also, if he had just like focused in on the certain points he didn't like and asked it to correct that, rather than like being choosy and using his artistic eye on it. I did air quotes, you didn't see it, but I did them. Jason can attest. No, and, I won't. Okay, I said can. He didn't do anything. Uh, <laughs> uh, I want, all of, all I want us to listen to the part coming up, by the way, because he gets really snippy in a sec here. All right. And it's very funny. All of his like artistic additions make it worse. Like it, <laughs> it's, the, he drew a lot of attention to these buckles. The buckles suck. Uh, the shoulder here, sucks like it, it's still yeah, it's way it's still, beefier than the other one still look how far down the arm it goes there compared to that one he's still fucked up the foot he doctored is also still fucked up this forearm is way bigger than this one yeah the bracers are different like it's just like half metal half cloth it hits this tumor right here and then <laughs> just like hits a normal size Nailless thumb again. Despite him putting on, uh, putting all of his attention into those hands, all of his artistic uh, vision into those hands, the cape is uneven. Uh, uh, the previous cape actually looked a lot better than this. Yeah, rather than it being, you know, off center. Hairline, it's not as fucked as it was before, but yeah. it's still not very good. 
Yeah, I'd say the four. Well, I mean, it's his wife's face rather than that weird AI generated one. <laughs> the the AI generated one had like a seven head. The AI generated one did look like a monster, but he went ahead and monsterfied his wife's face to show how beautiful she was. College of stable diffusion, knowing how to use multiple tools, let alone the illustration of the. You have to know exactly how to, dude. When I go to Subway, I have to know exactly how to word my <laughs> order to the like fucking peasant behind the counter in order to get. No, you don't understand, bro. Then I have to put on my own homemade pickles to it to perfect the sandwich. You don't understand. I am an artist. I said I wanted yellow bell peppers, not grapes. And create the image that I wanted. And here we can see the process which we just undertook. There are some image stages that are not appearing because I didn't save them at that stage. Mm. But you can still nice eye detail. Process, <laughs> me two and a half I feel hours. like... Hold on. Wow, you hear that, bro? That took two, him two and, and a half, half hours. hours. Wow. wow. Despite a real drawing takes way more time. I like how he's bragging about the time and effort he take it takes him to do this. But like his whole selling point for AI is that it doesn't take a lot of time and effort. Yeah. Also, this is the best generation out of e any of them, and then he proceeded to fuck it up further. Like, he really should have just kept the foot behind the other right there. So, let's go back. Oh, shit. The image that I wanted. And here we can see the okay. process which we just undertook. There are some image stages that are not... That's, that's, well, no, that's before he fixed the foot. Event. This is probably... The best gen- no, that's the fucked up finger. Even in spite of the fucking- Alright, yeah. Disgusting face photoshopped onto it. Yeah, the- This generation- Damn it. They're not appearing because I didn't save them at that stage. But you could- This one's the best one, and then he proceeded to fuck it up afterwards. He fixed most of the errors. The hand's still fucked up over here. The finger looks broken here. And, uh, there's some weird molecules, uh, all throughout these- the S here, the actually that's her hair covering. <laughs> these clasps are better than the clasps that he ended with. Uh, the shoulder looks less fucked up because it's more covered in shade. The cape is still not great and it still looks pretty uneven. But like the foot, the fucked up foot is behind the other one, so it doesn't look as fucked up. It's not drawing attention to it. So this is probably the best generation, and he proceeded to fuck it up more afterwards. Still see the overall process, which took me two and a half hours. That is not very long, man. A lot more time, work, effort, and skill needed than just a click. I can't see how anyone who watched this entire process could then assume that the AI is just okay. They still just took you a bunch of clicks, though. <laughs> like, you still... Like, it took you more than one click. Wow! I want to hear what he's about to say. This is where he gets real bitter about it. All right. I don't see but, how anyone could see this. I don't, I don't but again, he's, he's bragging about how much work it takes, but he doesn't just want to put that work into actually perfecting his own art style. Instead, he wants to dedicate all that work into touching up this fucking, like, just into touching up this mound of shit that he started out with, and now it's a much shinier mound of shit. Process could then assume that the AI is just doing all the work. It's doing 99% of the work still. Or talent needed. People who say such things honestly do not know what they are talking about. <laughs> they are statements from profound ignorance when it comes to this technology. He is holding back tears as he says these lines, dude. <laughs> He's so fucking bitter that people don't think that this takes as much work as he's like... As he's just ejaculating out. No, you. Uh, I'm a also, good artist. Uh. Also, it wouldn't take two and a half hours if he didn't go like, mm, I want this line to be gold. No, I, I don't want, want her this boobs line to, to be gold. round. And then I want less fabric on the. Uh, like, I feel like you could streamline this a lot for sure. But also, if you're just asking a computer to generate a random image and then that. Like, just taking that image wholesale, essentially. Uh, if you weren't so particular about it and just edited the picture to not have all the AI flaws, it wouldn't take two, uh, two and a half hours. Like this review of his fucking 40 minute video was taking. Yeah, and, and 
his uh it's not our fault <laughs> and uh also uh you don't really have much to show for two and a half hours because it, it still, still looks, sucks it's still man. basically the same picture and it's still addled with flaws that his artistic eye was somehow unable to catch i still can't believe it and deeply insulting to me as an artist who has just made something of deep artistic expression and love for no my wife. You didn't, and dude. It's images of my wife of characters that I love. I can also create. In oh my god! I have to hear that again. And not just images of god damn it. Deep artistic expression to me as an artist who has just made. Wow! It. So you don't like it when you feel insulted by people questioning your art, but you're more than happy to tell. Like, other people feel insulted when you call yourself an artist for hitting the generate button on this shitty program. But for some reason, the insult they feel towards him doesn't matter. But the insult he feels when they tell him, you're not an artist, that does matter a lot to him. Yeah, especially since he's using AI to generate his art. Because AI literally harvests the art and images of other people to generate your art you're you're literally stealing this is from someone people. else's art just like fucking frankenstein together with other people's art to make your art literally is an insult and you're insulted that people are saying it's not art like the point of art is that it it is like it is a mind expressing itself in like the most physical way possible and you didn't do most of this. I That's the fucking point. Is that you have to put that work in to express that in, in order to express yourself. And you're not doing that. This computer is. You're just telling it to do more shit. Yeah. Something of deep artistic expression and love. So good boy heard fucking and quarterback shoulders. Characters that I love. I can also create in incredible, high-detailed, truly stunning pieces of art. That's the example you went for that? These that looks like shit, dude. That looks like something you'd see in the background of a 90s point-and-click adventure. Yeah, that looks like the alpha concept art for a video game. <laughs> not need to be feared when used in combination with your... Again, it's not dude, in this combination, looks nothing dude. like what you made. It's not in combination with your own art, artistic style. You're, you're, this particular image, you had an argument, but the, what you just did with the Supergirl, it's not. In, this it's is not in combination. I don't think he has an argument here because this completely changed what he drew. Yeah, but at least he drew the original source image. Well, if all you need is the silhouette, then why not just find a silhouette you like and have it go from there? That's the why conclusion even... he reached. <laughs> <laughs> why even bother drawing the silhouette out at that point? Like, this, I would say, is actually kind of fine. Would be, like, taking a lot of the busy work out of your own drawing. Because, like, if you if someone told you they drew this but said, like, they used AI to, like, iron out, like, the clothing detail, I would still say, yeah, you pro I would still be comfortable, like, telling you, yeah, you drew this image. But if you show me this and then say, some, and then say oh, yeah, I, get, I drew this, but then someone else took the drawing and drew all this in for me, but I'm still the artist. It's no, like, definitely no, not. No, someone else drew this for you. Yeah, that's, they, they did... You basically just provided, like, a template for them. At least in this instance, he did draw the template. That's that's as much credit I, as I can give him for this. Because, like, this this is, like, right on the edge of being, like, this is... You're really testing the limits of what art is. And then, th like, once he hits Supergirl, it's just not art, dude. This it's is where not. your credit for the drawing, like, ends. Yeah, like... You, the part that you did. Yeah. Artists can get the very best results out of AI art generators. They okay, the, the issue with that, though, is that it no longer looks like something you did. This looks like a completely different hand and mind made it. Yeah. The uh, point of artistic... I already said it, but the point of artistic expression is that you are showing how your mind works, basically. You're showing that to the world, and if all of this gets taken away, you're left with 
nothing except this demon looking at you. A person's art is supposed to be a reflection of their soul. And in these cases, at least you can say that this was a reflection of your soul. And then you had somebody else do this to it. Or I, I guess you did it, but like... A, you used an AI to do this to this reflection of your soul. Uh, but then once you get into Supergirl, Supergirl, the, it's it's not a reflection of your soul. Like the AI generated the image. You just doctored it to have your wife's face and to look less yeah, like at shit. At least with this, he drew up the template. With the Supergirl shit, he's not even doing any of that himself. Like in this image, I can tell like you like... Uh, you like armor, you like weapons, you like uh, anime styles. Uh, I can see you have a passion for uh, the medieval, um, I don't know, Harlequin uh, inspiration. He loves armor, that's why he gave her the worst looking armor ever. <laughs> that protects nothing. I did can, a great job. And then in this one, I can see some of the inspirations of where you learned your art style from so I can learn more about you. I can understand you more as a person through this this art. What yeah, am I going to learn? an unhealthy obsession with Japanese schoolgirls, apparently. <laughs> but what, what are we going to learn from your wife's... Like, what, do, what are we going to learn from Supergirl with your wife's face? Nothing. We, we, we learn nothing. We learn that you like Supergirl and you have a wife. <laughs> he in fact has a wife that he wishes had a different body <laughs> that's what we learn looking at his supergirl drawings yeah it's it's not a reflection of your soul at all it's completely soulless dude Incredible tools let's get through this artists. and if artists are worried about getting replaced they need to understand that they have the ability to make the very best AI art and oh my god dude when still okay if, Dude. if people who, like, rent out horses for, for getting between town to town are worried about cars, they just need to strap horses to their cars and have the cars drag their horses behind them. <laughs> like, Eloquently that's the spoken. Eloquently spoken. Why would, why would a fucking company pay an artist to use an AI program when literally anyone can? Yeah, it, it literally would replace artists. Like, if, if this gets to the point where you can't distinguish the AI art... It's going to, by the way. Like, yeah, this it's... is going to hit the point where, like, you can't distinguish it from something, like, an actual person drew. And I want to make this clear. That's not because AI is some, like, miracle. Like, the programming is impressive, certainly. But, like, it's, it's taking art from people... Like, it, it's taking other people's art and using that without that person's permission it's literally thievery like it's going it the ai is stealing people's art and then giving it away for free it's it will replace artists and it's incredibly unfair this is a lot like this is a lot like fucking i don't think it's really gonna replace artists like fucking major companies probably aren't gonna hire artists anymore but I think, like, over the internet, like, if you're talented enough, you can still make a career as an artist. But, obviously, the fucking... You're gonna have to really have a lot of personality or, or, or draw some really good porn. <laughs> because otherwise, this is undoubtedly gonna take a lot... I've seen a lot of AI people make that point, too. Like, well, they can just use AI in their art, too. And it's like, no one's gonna pay you to use AI art models, you fucking moron. They're gonna use it themselves. They don't need you anymore. Well, another problem with that is once you, if you manage to, like, become an established artist and people really like your art style, they'll use AI to just mimic your art and shard out their own versions of your art. Like, if AI becomes good enough, then you won't be able to be an artist because as soon as you release your art, people will steal it from you and... <laughs> They'll they'll literally take your style. They'll take an they'll take your soul essentially. That's fucked up. Um, let's see what else does he have to say? Making the very best quality at a competitive rate. This is not much better than this. It's, this still looks like shit. Yeah, like I, it added no detail to the water, and it just added a couple of green lines in the background. Yeah, this looks like a religious video game. <laughs> That's an insult. Speed and 
quantity to what many industries are looking for and want. And that's just the commercial industry side of this discussion. The claim that AI art is in no way art at all is a statement of profound ignorance and elitism. And people can believe- It's, it's Wait, elitism look. to feel like- He fixed the S. Look at that. This is a different picture. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah the S is different. It's a profound, it's elitism for people to not want their jobs to be replaced by computers. Yeah, also, he was talking about, like, it's it's natural and competitive market. That's a shit, that's a shit thing to say, dude. <laughs> that's a shit take, man. Yeah, you really sound like you care a lot about art when you don't care about the people who make it at all. Yeah, my art form's superior because it, it's my done really, really quickly and I have to put no effort into it. It shits out millions of drawings of fucking per half a shit. Yeah, you, you quantify the quality of art by how easy and marketable it is. <laughs> the value of art is by how quickly it's done, you see. <laughs> because I know I continually experience deep artistic satisfaction from the things I... Different bracers, different bracers, different bracers. Uh, like, it sounds... he He's not satisfied by the creation of art at all. He's satisfied from having pretty things to look at, like a fucking monkey. Like, yeah. he's got a literal fucking chimp brain, and he's trying to appreciate this art for... This has four fingers, man. Come on. Yeah, if you had an appreciation for the art you were making, you'd pick up on these details and you wouldn't be able to rest until you fixed them. That's how an artist's mind works. These you are also put it down. These are also lit from different sides again. Yeah, if you were if you had if you took artistic pride in what you were doing, you would not be able to rest with these flaws, and yet you are resting with these flaws. Not only are you doing that, but you are sh throwing them in people's faces and asking them to give you praise about it you, that you don't deserve. Don't worry, Shad. You're an artist. You're an artist, bro. You're, you're as artistically talented as Jazza, even. All right, oh now God, that I've dude. said that, will you stop doing this? Already. Do you, do you want to take a look at Jazza's art after this? Uh, not. I want to show you a video of him and Jazza in a sec here. Okay. You'll see it in a bit. To create with these incredible tools. Because look at this final image. How could anyone say that it is made by AI? <gasps> by all the fucking AI? All the hints that it was made by AI? Yeah, Maybe the way she has no fingernails, the her way giant her head, her giant head, her giant head, <laughs> the way her armor looks like it's made out of fabric, and her fabric <laughs> looks like it's made out of armor, <laughs> the way her uh, the whites of her eyes continue all the way along her eyelid. This guy is like he has a sec. He's like a right wing chud, so he has like a second channel that's about him, like talking about like movies, and he seems to. He's against, like, how homogenized movies are, like, how they all have, like, very similar plots to one another nowadays, how they all seem like they're fucking belt-fed, and it's like... That's ironic. Yes, isn't that weird? And he see, and he talks about how much he loves, like, different... How, he, how much he loves, like, ancient cultures and stuff, and it's like, Shad, you're aware that part of a culture's expression is their art, right? It's, does he care about like that aspect of those cultures or doesn't he and if he's against the homogenization of movies then he should have a big problem with these AI art programs because all these look the fucking same god the fucking cognitive dissonance dude he's willing to overlook that because this makes him feel like an artist dude just if you're an artist, this isn't what your art is. When you were drawing, you were an artist. You may not have been great, but you were an he, artist. There you was something there. That. If yes. he had practiced his art for like a couple of years, I think he would have been... Because there were parts of it that we were even complimenting. Yeah, you're like your weapons are good. Like the weapons that, that you had on there, they were good. Like they had good... Uh, well, they looked like weapons. <laughs> They looked like weapons you could pick up and swing, which I like a lot. Yeah, like, they had weight to them. If only he wasn't such a lazy idiot, then maybe his art would have been worth a shit. But unfortunately, it's stuck in his amateur phase yeah. forever. Also, and now this is the apex of his art. There's different kinds of art, too. You don't have to be, like, a drawn artist. You could 
write stories like you do, and I would hope that you'd put more effort into it. Also, the also he brags about how his stories are like completely written by him, but like if there's nothing wrong with these images, then there would be nothing wrong with you using AI generated stories, right? Yeah. Like, don't even write your stories anymore. Just do AI fucking prompts for all of your stories and then charge people money for them. Also, the videos with all those weapons, did he make those weapons? Uh, he makes, like, models of some of his weapons. Like, he made a model of, like, Kratos' weapons, like the Leviathan axe, so that he could test out the sheath, and he actually said he likes it a lot. Like, what do you mean, make the model? Like, did, did... like, he makes, like, plastic versions of them. He just, like, casts a mold or something like that? He just, or... like, cuts plastic in the shape. Okay, but he and cuts he, it. And he, like, attaches like... it to, like, a wooden handle. But that's all, like, manual, right? Yeah, he does Okay, that's, that. that's art, then. Nah, he's still just, like, copying a template. He's not really, like, practicing any... He's kind of just following a fucking, like... Like, shape, really. Hmm. There's, like, 20 seconds left. Let's get through this. This image. This piece of art. I hope everyone who's watched this video now knows that no, this is a piece of art made by me, made by a human, using tools in combination with other artistic tools like Photoshop and my own artistic ability. It is still human made. So if the human aspects of this are good, why not just make the entire thing human made? Yeah, it's... Why even start with the AI based template of it? It is almost entirely not human made. Everything about this that he swears takes a lot, that he's bragging about, are the human inputs of it. But then it's like, oh, but a drawing that's made entirely by a human, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's not as good. <laughs> oh, it was assisted. The AI made this whole fucking thing, dude. All right, that was, uh, that was very boring. That took forever. Yeah. That was... There's one more thing I want to show you regarding this, but real quick. All right, now that the second batch of toilet war crimes is out of the way, have you got any closing thoughts on this uh, shite uh, video? Uh, this isn't real art. <laughs> like, one thing I want to say is, I just remembered he was talking about like towards the beginning how this is just an upgrade in technology to make art like how digital art was but like if you take away like a digital artist's tablet and and computer they can they can still make art like you can hand them other mediums like pencil and paper or even like hand them a fucking ball of clay and they might be able to still make something that looks recognizably like their own but like you take away these morons like ai generators they can't make anything anymore yeah because because they're not artists yeah as it turns it, out it comes like even if you were to have like even if you were to like take away the computer aspect and just have them dictate what they want they still wouldn't be able to make the art that they make now because most of it is computer generated like all the fine details on this image here they wouldn't be able to describe that they wouldn't be like all right add more plates to her wings i like how the wings are at the wrong angle too <sighs> like this one looks like it's coming from like the middle of her back and this one looks like it's jutting out of her shoulder yeah because they're not fucking attached <laughs> but like all those fine details they wouldn't be able for. to dictate because the ai does most of it that it doesn't translate into anything <laughs> perfect yeah i just remembered that last point from uh there was this response video and they closed on that same point this is a pretty decent video is that uh it's better edited than this one as well who's that made by is that my i don't know who all right whatever i watched it though and it was good but they ended on that point like the reason digital artists are artists is because they can still create art, whereas AI artists can't make art anymore once you take away their generate button. Yeah. All right, with that out of the way, and now that we have this giraffe person, with this hipless giraffe person on screen, I want to move on to this really, really funny video. This is his brother right here. This is Jazza. 
I don't know who these two are, but we don't really need to know for the sake of this video. Uh, all we need to know is that. So what happens here is this is they're at they're doing like a live stream, and I don't know. I think they're like filling in roles for like jobs they would take. Uh, role playing ourselves in a zombie apocalypse. Okay, so I guess. Uh, Shad spends this entire three minutes swearing up and down that his art is at a level similar to Jazza's. And Jazza is trying to, like, move on from the conversation without saying that. Probably because the mere thought of it makes him want to vomit in his own mouth. Could we look up some of Jazza's art just as a frame of reference for people who might not have seen him? Let's see if I can... Because I haven't seen Jazza's art. Jazza's art kind of actually looks like Shad's art if Shad gave a fuck about practicing. Let's see if this pulls up anything. I remember this. It's an old video. But yeah, I've actually watched... Yeah. We only really need like one good example, honestly. I've watched uh, some of this guy's videos. Both of them, for some reason, like this really like a Down Syndrome Eyes style. <laughs> but Jazza actually makes it work and his brother doesn't. But Jazza has been drawing for pretty much his entire life. Is this picture his? his? Been a I think so. Man, that is small. I can't tell. Contest went wrong with Jazza. Is Jazza... What is this? Whatever that doesn't look it. like his style. This is one of his drawings, too. It's like a zombie dragon. Okay, so... Jazza's not my favorite artist or anything, but he's clearly very talented, so... I imagine he doesn't like his fucking talentless hack brother trying to imply that his skills are on the same level as him since Jazza actually put the work into evolving his art to this stage, whereas his brother was, is not willing to. Is that Joker one his? That The one that you, we looked at the th at the yeah, top? Yeah, this Keep... Venom one is as well. All right, but like, check out this detail. Check out the quality. Like, we Where's go to the... the Joker one. All right, look at that. The best way would be to, like, look up his uh, YouTube channel, but he doesn't really just sit down and draw anymore. He kind of plays around with a lot of different mediums. Like, he does, like, glass blowing and epoxy art. He, like, makes sculptures well, the main various materials and stuff. The main thing I wanted I, I wanted to, to look at is just, like, a frame of reference for uh, I don't know why I didn't try this. What? Jazza art. <laughs> Yeah, that would have been fucking helpful. <laughs> but yeah, this is just like a frame of reference for like the the quality of his art versus the art we just spent what like two hours <laughs> fucking looking at art. You yeah. sure about that? Art in quotes. The first like ten minutes of it is his like no, uh, guys... early art that is clearly not at the skill level inferior. that he thinks it has vastly inferior that art is what he's basing there's here's shad here that art is what he's basing this opinion on oh, jesus let's see it. i can't wait to hear this this is so like my, this is so i don't know how to put this uh mind destroyingly cringe that it's very hard for me to sit through this like something about like dunning kruger idiots like this who talk up like skills that they don't have is really cringy to me and Dunning we're about Kruger? to see dunning kruger like when you think you're more of an expert than you actually are okay let's hear this this blood thinking an artist <laughs> literally in this case my art's at a professional level Is that what I didn't even realize that what was happening here? He's trying to take the artist role in this over his brother. Jesus so he's Christ. literally saying, like, I'm a better artist than my brother, basically. Jesus Christ, man. 
his poor brother just trying to talk this fucking maniac down to is he like he keeps looking to the right is, I think is his brother, his brother is, in that direction i'm pretty sure i love how that's his go-to like fucking cope response as well you know that's profoundly ignorant uh, you, you're profoundly ignorant you see. <laughs> yeah I'm not even very butthurt My art is that look at his brother's fucking hand come into frame. Like, calm down, calm down, you psycho. <laughs> Don't pull a gun out of your fucking waistband, even though we live in Australia. Dude. <laughs> My art is clearly had a probably had so many fights over this. I am an artist. All instigated I'm not by you're him. Not. You're just how do I put I want Jazz to be like, you're not as good as me, you fucking hack. Imagine he just blows up at him like that over this. I would love to see that. Look at these poor fucking guys just trying to dissociate. <laughs> this guy's reverted to the phone. <laughs> You would what? What do you say there? Well, no, because then you would get a blood test. We have our strengths and well, no. Go for the back. I love you. I, I'd say a point to an artist. Well, no, because then you would get a blood test. You would. We have our strengths and weaknesses, and you know what my strengths are in artistry, and uh, I'm easily. Can you put on? Do the captions work? I don't. I cannot imagine. I'm easily at a professional I would, would be willing to give you two points. And, uh, yeah, go back I'm further. Easily at a professional I would be willing to give you two points. Oh, yeah, this is before that, that shit eating grin. Well, no, because then you would just get appointed artist. You would just get appointed artist. Why wouldn't he be appointed artist? Like, he, are you unaware that he's better than you? Yeah, what the fuck? You would. Why what wouldn't else he would be he... appointed artist? His whole thing is art. Why the fuck? Also, in a zombie... If this... If the whole point of this is a zombie apocalypse... Alright, role-playing what? ourselves in a zombie, apo a zombie apocalypse. Ourselves, yeah. Yeah. Of why... course he's gonna be the fucking artist, you lunatic. Also, why would you want that slot in a zombie apocalypse? You don't apocalypse? enjoy making art. Why would you want that position? Yeah, that doesn't even make any fucking sense, dude. Is this just him taking the opportunity to like argue with Jazza about this? I feel like I feel like he's very like uh not emasculated but like very insecure. Yeah, I, yeah, insecure. He's, he's very insecure that like uh Jazza's clearly better than him. Yeah, he's like I'm the older brother and I've been doing art. He, he, actually, I don't even know if he's been doing art, art longer, but like he's clearly not better. I still don't believe that it's like an inferiority. I think he's got an inferiority complex to Jazza, but not because like he wants to be better than Jazza specifically. I think it's because he wants people to think that he's like a fantastic like artist and creator, and he just doesn't have the fucking like artistic like drive to sit down and actually work on his skill set so he hit a point that he thought was good enough and was just like all right i'm a professional now i don't have to progress beyond this yeah i think that comes from growing up with jazza though like jazza pro has probably been great at art for a long time and yeah jazza said he's been drawing for pretty much his entire life he probably got praise from their parents about that and and uh from what I understand, Shadzel. they both had, like, a deaf younger brother, so they both kind of, like, had problems getting attention from their parents. Whereas Jazza, like, turned that lack of attention into, like, pursuing his art. Shad turned it into, like, I need everyone to look at me. If, instead of my parents, I need everyone else looking at me and telling me how good I am. That makes perfect sense, then. I, I feel like he's trying to outshine Jazza in, in Jazza's own thing. Like, Jazza got his recognition by being an artist, and now Shad's like, I need that. I want that, too. Yeah, fucking <laughs> man-child. I know what my strengths are in artistry, and... Uh... Dude, I'm come on. I'm at a professional standard, as evidenced by, like, n 
A professional artist needs to be able to work on anything that gets asked of them. And this guy never drew, like, monsters, never drew backgrounds, never <laughs> drew anything that wasn't a schoolgirl holding a what, holding a sword. Yeah, he can draw Gumby characters with <laughs> balloon shoulders and, and good weapons. My art's easily at a... Pro Those three things I draw are easily at a professional level. Proceeds to show things that are not at a professional level. <laughs> <laughs> I think this dude just turned his camera off. He's like, this is gonna take a while. Probably left. Hey, Shad, you know that there's other people here, right? You're really just gonna keep this argument going? Sibling rivalries, am I right? It's an, it, a rivalry would be between both of them. I don't think Jazza even likes, like, bringing this shit up with him. Of course he doesn't. But it's Shad embarrassing. is a, But because Shad's a fucking, like, egotistical man-child, he can't just let it go and move on from the fucking topic. It's fucking embarrassing, dude. This is, like... He's like a 40-something, maybe... He looks like he's 50, I'll be real. Probably just because he's really unhealthy. But he's fucking... I guess 40, man. I have to think, I will say at least 40. But he's like a 40-year-old acting like a fucking toddler, pee-pee-poo-pooing his diaper that he's definitely still wearing. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm an artist! I am an artist! Call me an artist right now! Which has a... That's good. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a point of reference. How applicable is this to zombie apocalypse in fact? Um, oh, this poor guy. Jazz is such a sweet person. He does not deserve to live with this psycho. He doesn't live with him, but he doesn't live with, as in he's in his life. Y yes. Thank you for putting it that way, Jazz. Yes, you won't let it go, you fucking baby. Ah, oh, these poor guys are just fucking holding in the last. Definitely in character expression or facial expressions, and also in coloring and stuff like that. But the anatomy side of things, I think I do really well. No! Oh my god, he was still this is years not, old. Dude. This is like several years old, I think. Dude, anatomy is dude. You're you're claiming your strong point is anatomy. He didn't draw no, a man. single anatomic... Even his AI art, he manages to fuck up the anatomy on. Dude, his anatomy is terrible. He's... Terrible, dude. He's been really hanker, hampering on this for this long that he's good at anatomy. He's not. <laughs> he's <laughs> terrible, dude. This is less cringy that, as it was the first time and more infuriating now that I'm really listening after watching that whole video. Dude, you're really good at faces, but like I'm way better at, at everything at, else. At anatomy, you see? No, you aren't. Faces are part of anatomy, Shad. Fucking stupid, man. <laughs> you fucking fucktard. Jazza is also good at anatomy. He's an accomplished artist. You have to be. We don't need to sit on this. We really don't. We can talk about this on the ground. It's not applicable. We should play a game. This is not entertaining. your battery doing? I'm sure people actually want it. He's asking about his phone battery. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, is, you fucking rough. baby. Yes. Oh my god. That dude. was don't worry, Jazza. None of that was your fault. Dude, Jazza, never co never collaborate with your brother again. That guy's a psycho. <laughs> I have to placate this guy or he's literally going to pull out a sword from his anime girl I'm girlfriend not... and fucking stab someone to death. I don't know what Shad's like in person. Like I don't know if he's That demonstrated how he's like in person pretty I, well. Yeah, all I'm seeing is this, so uh, like don't don't feel like you have to put up with this fucking guy. Like if he's if he's gonna be dragging on you this hard, like do what you think is best, not not what you feel like you have to do. Because this guy, Jesus man, the, the, the <laughs> ego on this guy, I swear. All right, that episode made me want to play with some AI art. Let's do that ourselves.
Let's harness the power of creation in the palm of our hands. Oh boy, I forgot about this part. Don't worry, man. We're gonna get... We're artists now. <laughs> really chugging along on the artist train. God, my eye for... Oh, cool. that sucks. Dang. Well, I guess something else will... Why does it block Supergirl of all things? Let me try something. Superhero one word? Uh, that'll work. It really took a token away from me in spite of not actually giving us an image there. <laughs> the fucking audacity. I swear to God, if this is blocked. What? All Unsafe right. image? How? S female, dude. Women... <laughs> Women destroy civilizations. Yucky. That's what... Cooties. Ew. Bing All right. Think. Let's go for something very unfunny. That's definitely not going to work. I promise you that's not going to work, man. Please provide... What's more descriptive? This is... <laughs> this is like a universal concept in all languages. What do you mean? <laughs> All right. <laughs> fucking ancient Aztec. <laughs> fucking Sonic kissing <laughs> Shrek. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Alright. Now we're breaking out the big guns. Dude, just... Yujiro Han, I guarantee, is not going to be allowed on this thing. Anything dude. for... Baki is, is inherently porno pornographic. <laughs> nah, let's see what it... Actually, it's... Oh my fucking god. Wow! Here, Anyone can make anything as long as big corporation is okay with it. No, dude... Uh... Is that how you spell that? Yes. It's probably going to ask for some, something more descriptive. Sure? If this doesn't work, I'm just quitting. Because this shit is too annoying to play with. We could we could do the... Oh, oh my god. god, fuck off! Wait, let's do, the, let's do the Shrek and Sonic thing again. Yeah, we looked up Shrek and Sonic earlier because we were feeling especially gay. And it somehow pulled up an actual image. And Sonic. I think I told you this earlier, but apparently Bing had to restrict their AI a lot, specifically because racist Drake was such a <laughs> meme for a couple days. Like, that image of Drake chasing a Chinese child while pulling his eyes back was, like, <laughs> was one of the... What really set it off, though, was that an image of Mickey Mouse crashing a plane into the Twin Towers became, like, a big meme. It's the same image as the one it showed us already. It's... Actually, it, it is a little different. But, like, look at this. Uh, Why so is Sonic, basically... like, seven feet tall here? Because <laughs> Shrek is a tall motherfucker. Alright, so guys, consider all that two and a half hours that he put into into doing that yeah, versus like shit, Shad. This took us five seconds. Yeah. And only thirteen different attempts. Yeah, and look, they're it's all basically the same image. Okay. <laughs> Sonic's fingers. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so that's Unless a little he's fucked shaking up. It with two hands. Oh, that's a good point. Those fingers would be a bit skinny for Shrek, honestly. Yeah, it's probably it probably just colored them in green. It's colored in okay. Sonic's hand green. It's getting a little confused right here, but like honestly, hey Shad, this didn't take us two and a half hours. I'm better at using AI than you are. Ergo, I'm a better artist. Loser. Forgot one of Shrek's ears. Well, I mean, yeah, but also uh, his gloves have fingernails. <laughs> <laughs> This is the only prompt we've gotten to work on. I was playing around with this a couple days ago, and I was able to get, like, consistent results. But that fucking... Pull up the Ninja Turtle ones we got. Oh, yeah. That'll, that should work. I'm gonna... I wonder if Midget... I thought you saved them. I did, but I want to see what else it comes up with. Oh, wait. I typed the whole thing. Oh... You should do uh, Mario versus Ninja Turtles. That'd be cool. No. It, he might smash one like a Goomba. That'd be cool. Dwarves. Dwarves. Turtles. Uh. Uh. I should probably have checked and fixed that first. Hey, slow down, cowboy. Look how we didn't have to add, like, 10,000 parentheses <laughs> and, like, reference a bunch of other, like, pre-generated and trained art pieces. 
Okay, it's been getting a little confused on who's on which side. Also, that's a huge dwarf. Jesus Christ. The dwarf is also Leonardo. <laughs> and it has a it has a turtle shell. And turtle hands. And for some reason, this turtle has a third hand sticking out of his side. I guess he's truly a mutant at that point. I mean, Yeah, I mean, it fits. Maybe this guy killed Leonardo and they're avenging him. These two Raphael twins are avenging him. This is like the next, this is Ninja Turtles next generation. That's a wizard, not a dwarf. <laughs> why is Michelangelo, why does he do two twin turtles and then just <laughs> a random one holding a sword? This is nonsense. This Dude, is one of the Michael Bay Teenage Ninja give Turtles. Me this. Is this, this looks like it's from like the Dark Crystal. It kind of does, yeah. It's probably stolen a bunch of Dark Crystal drawings. Damn Why right. is there just a million turtles? <laughs> they also never draw Leonardo for some reason. That is very weird. Alright, that was incredibly unfunny. Let's look up one more thing. Or a couple more things. Do Mario versus Ninja Turtles. I want to see if he smashes one like a, uh, like a Goomba. That'd be cool. Now, if you put in smashing, it's going to uh, censor yeah. it. Fighting was the right way to go. We tried looking up Shadowversity's wife on a Supergirl body, but it told us that was too weird. <laughs> and that we're freaks for thinking of that. <laughs> the, the, the CEO of being contacted us directly. Come on, guys. Why are you putting a woman's face on a different body is weird behavior. He's Mario's, just grabbing the sword. That's pretty what cool. a god. <laughs> that is fucking badass. This. They had no idea what they were doing with those birds. They? This thing, yeah. <laughs> what is what that? What is it holding? Is that like a why, frying pan? Why, is it why like does it have female? hair? Uh, yeah, I was looking at that. Why is. What's up with Mario's god. proportions? God damn. Must have turned to fucking Shadowversity to fix these proportions. Because he has such an eye for them, you see. Why is he a woman? They're actually, remember, okay, both of these are the same picture. It's just them fighting with a castle in the background for some reason. Maybe you should have made it a plural. Yeah, it's pretty much I bet you same we... thing every time. Look that up in Google Images and see if you get basically the same thing. Whoa. Turkles. Mm, no, not really. Some fan art. I guess people didn't want to draw something so autistic. I mean, somebody did. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Hey, Ew. mustache boy. Yeah, you heard you like to jump on turtles and kick them around. This true? Here we go. <laughs> That's I don't get it, actually. <laughs> that was kind of... That did go kind of hard. All right. Who would it let me do this with? Do Kirby versus Goku. Dance hand. I mean, you didn't list the specific president, so I think it'll let it pass. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Please show Trump. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> that is actually perfect. What the fuck? It, it's like video game Sonic 2. <laughs> I like Ew. the black chick in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his creepy teeth, too. Sonic's? Or, to, no, or Trump's. Trump's. Who the fuck is this Who sim? Who is that? And why is why does he have like a lazy eye? <laughs> what, what the, the fuck, fuck happened here? Is that Joe Biden? <laughs> 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 Alright, maybe a couple fuck? more. Why does he have an anime girl hair? Dude, you gotta make that your wallpaper? No. <laughs> I am saving that though. <sighs> Holy oh, yeah, shit. here's one of the... 
Oh my god, that was so fucking funny. Damn it. Why? Alright, now I'm saving. Alright. All right. Kirby versus Gogu. Wait, I have one more. Damn you, Baby man. fighting Pitbull. <laughs> ah, you fucking asshole. Baby fighting Pitbull. Toddler fighting. Please work. Please. No, just content warning. Fuck off. Damn it. Wow. Yeah, it was just the word pit bull. Wow, that's fucked up. People have probably gone on here and asked for, like, pictures of pit bulls, like, fucking tearing apart, like, celebrities or something. That's, that is That's racial profiling. Shit. It's racial profiling. What is that sword? Oh, okay. I, I get it now. Okay. It's just badly shaded. This is what dog is with shit, this dude. cocoa melon dog stuff? Uh, Why is style? he dressed as Superman every time? He's not fighting the dogs either. What happens if we just look up Pitbull? Is just the word Pitbull banned? Pitbull. Pitbull. <laughs> All right, what'd you want me to look up? Superman fighting what? Kirby. No, not Superman. Goku versus Kirby. Okay, okay it Pipple's actually work. does. Pipple does work. Pack of babies. <laughs> <laughs> See if this works. It didn't. Damn. Here, hold that on. is so fucking stupid. Hold on, let me try something. Uh... Pitbull. Goku. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> just Goku getting mauled by a Pitbull. <laughs> I hope it chooses Pitbull the rapper. <laughs> He's just like firing a key blast into the ground saying there's a reason why they call me Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> These images go kind of hard, actually. My toughest opponent yet. Wiener. At least they knew to put that in. Is this so. the same dog? Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's a it's little different. It's the same different. pattern. It's basically the same. <laughs> Whenever you put someone fighting, it's Oh just... my god. Look at this. This dude looks like, he, looks like he tried to drink a shotgun. It just Fuck, puts man. both of them at the side facing each other. Yeah, I think that's what happens when you do versus. Wait, right. I want to do Goku versus uh, Kirby. Alright, I got one more I want to look up after that. And then we'll end this because now it's actually starting to work. Maybe if we put all those Jew echoes around in different <laughs> words, it'll work. Stop saying Jew echoes. That's what they are. <laughs> no, they're called parentheses. <laughs> when you use triple parentheses, it's a Jew echo. <laughs> okay, man. <laughs> okay, this... Does Damn Goku it. have a tail in that one? Which one? This one? Uh, go through all of them. Yes, first Why one. does your cursor have so, so much lag? I don't know. <laughs> I wanted these to be more cursed, and they're not. Yeah, these what are. What are just, these? These are not as funny as they used to be. Kind of like weird shards of stuff. I actually don't know who would win here, to be honest. What are you talking about, dude? Kirby would beat the shit out of Goku, man. He might not. No, you haven't looked up Kirby lore, man. I have looked up Kirby lore. You haven't looked it Goku up enough. Goku lore is still stupid. No, Goku lore is like, I can punch so hard I break the universe. Kirby's like, I am the universe. Let's see if this pulls up anything cool. I hope so. 
They better not have like a content warning. Uh, It'll probably just have them like standing off against each other, but that still might look sick. Like imagine like Doom Slayer with the big with a like, castle in the middle and a nine eleven victim and a fucking <laughs> a couple of nine eleven victims. I've done this before and it never draws Doom Slayer right. It like makes them both. Ooh. It makes them both like inbred to like love childs of both of them. Yeah, neither of these. Both of these look like guts. Okay. I got this exact image once before <laughs> when I looked this prompt up. I know for a fact I got this one. I don't know why there's just a sword dividing them. Okay. I swear to God I got this image too. Dude, this is Hollow Knight. <laughs> or uh, this, Shovel Knight. I like how their arms are just the same. Actually, yeah, I can kind of see where the divide is. Dude, they just straight Nothing. up didn't have Doom Slayer. Yeah, they didn't do that right at all. Let's try this. Some Jew, single Jew echoes. A third of a Jew echo, one might say. Damn, dude, you were really on a kick with that. <laughs> it's just really funny that you have to, like, feed it some anti-Semitic conspiracies for the AI <laughs> program to work right. Okay. All right. That these... actually worked. This looks kind of metal, actually. I mean, Guts looks fucking ridiculous. Yeah, he looks... Why is he holding a stick? The My fuck? signature weapon, this stick. <laughs> and Doom Slayer's just got this JPEG of a gun here. He's this holding it the wrong way, and his sword looks like it's made out of paper. <laughs> and look at, look at how uneven it is on the guard. That's what I'm saying. It looks like it's a paper cutout. A chain... It looks what like is... they're fusing Guts with Ash from the Evil Dead. Uh, and they yeah, gave... Yeah, they even gave him, like, a, just a bitch-ass chainsaw. Like Ash from the Evil Dead. This looks like old 90s comic art, which is kind of sick. Yeah. This just... That's closer. I have gotten this exact Guts model as well. <laughs> they do not know what Guts looks like, apparently. This one looks kind of badass, but it's also not right at all. Look at... Look at the sword just here. <laughs> They always give Guts multiple swords for some reason. Also, Doom Slayer looks like he's made out of, like, blood roots from the waist down. <laughs> yeah, ew, what is that? <laughs> Alright, I think we've had all the fun we're going to have with this piece of shit. Wait. Wait. I have another. One more. Maybe. I might have another one. I know there was an X. I know there was an X to clear it. <sighs> Is that how you spell spaghetti? Spaghetti. H. Damn. I don't even know. Spaghetti. Is it two T's or two I's? Or two T's. It... Okay. Why would it be two I's? That doesn't look that right. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I was having that problem with the word receive yesterday. I mean, it's not correcting it, so I'm going to assume that's... That is, where, that is correct. I know for a fact it is. You nitwit. Don't talk back. Don't say it's me. I keep hearing that... <laughs> that guy... What the fuck? It seems to really freak out when you ask it to draw spaghetti. Why is there just a finger put like poke, like sticking out of it? There. He has the fork to his mouth, but there's a <laughs> meatball with spaghetti on the part where his hand is touching the fork. I like how it's just a pile of sauce. <laughs> how is the meatball sitting there? Also, is this like the same dude each time? It's, it's virtually like it's indistinguishable. It just, it just looks like he's going slightly more insane from having to fight a plate of spaghetti every day. <laughs> Alright, you're wasting all my prompts, so this is the last one. I want one more. No. One more. Also, what do you care about prompts? 
What if I need to use them to pretend I drew something? Alright, that was lame. I don't even want to look at these. Yeah, this is like fucking baby shit. But hey, you're an artist. You created them. <laughs> I hope this is horrific. I think you'll be very disappointed. Probably, but I hope it's horrific. Damn it. Yeah, what do you think you were gonna get searching this up? AI is not as bad as it used to be. Alright, this is the last one, then we're ending this. Scary is probably <laughs> going to fuck it up. Oh, maybe not. You think Scary is going to have a content warning? Yes. Some of the other shit we tried... Supergirl has a content warning. It's probably copyright or something. But Goku yeah, isn't for some reason. Shit. Jesus. <laughs> Holy shit. That's actually pretty good. God. Lag on this. Hell yeah, dude. Alright, these are kind of cool. Alright. Yeah. I'm now a, a I'm graphic Satan. artist. <laughs> I'm above... Yeah, look at... I drew these, you guys. I'm above the, the professional standard. I, I meet pro professional grade. Mm, it is my artistic uh, eye that has told me that this is perfect in spite of the six fingers on that one hand. <laughs> and the fact that the knuckles are... <laughs> <laughs> in the wrong place on this hand. Hey, arthritis does crazy things, man. Yeah, that's uh, that's actually going to be our excuse when we upload this and claim we did it and sell it for a million dollars. Hell yeah, man. we're going to make these NFTs. T NFTs are worth nothing now, man. Really? Did they finally taper off? They're like, like every the average NFT has lost ninety nine percent of its original value. Good. Like, they're literally worthless. They were worthless to begin with. Now they're more worthless. Alright, we gotta get used to doing this more consistently. Don't make excuses. <laughs> Alright, uh, that is all. Goodbye. See you tomorrow.